coming to the mic Talking about the food they hate Talking about the food they like Two fools gonna fight But only one food can be right People from high school they, they, If they Google Robert Kelly or Bob Kelly They're not finding you No, they're finding a black guy That pissed on a bunch of 13 year olds <laughs> Is that what Which, I, Yeah, it f***ing kills me Because I, I, oh, I finally oh, yeah, what am I saying? <laughs> His name's Robert, right? R. Kelly I called him R <laughs> I don't know. I mean, disappointed limo guys there in Vegas when I come down to <laughs> ground zero. And they're just like, I'm like, what's up? They're like, ah, oh, shit. <laughs> I thought we were going to have fun. And it's just Holy me shit. with my ear pods <laughs> talking to my wife. How's Max? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the whole back seat's covered in <laughs> trash bags. Urine, yeah. yeah. Wow, I didn't realize his name was Robert Kelly. Yeah, R. Kelly. So I will get popular on Google, and then this cocksucker would, you know... Somebody else, and all of a sudden, it's just him. So, you would you say you've benefited or not benefited? Not. But what about before he was? Did you benefit from a Google search? You know, I have people from Africa that send me love mail. Like, I love, I love your music so much, and it got so much where I started just responding as R. Kelly. I'm like, thank you so much for believing in me. <laughs> did uh, you really? Or yes, no? <laughs> you should have. Yes, that's fucking amazing. Thank you for believing me, man. I, I I work from God, and I'm trying, you know, stuff like that. Like, I think R. Kelly would say, you know, that's what that's what you would think he would say. Yeah, they, of course. Thank you for believing that. in me. I work with God. Yeah, because it was a guy. If it was a girl, yeah. it would have been like you know, yo, baby, right? Yo, baby, what you doing? <laughs> yo, baby, I'm, yo, so baby, you're catfishing people as R. Kelly. Yo, baby, I'm coming to Africa in a month. Yeah, Dude, get your so, papers. Was what he said. Remember? You, yeah, Did you me, ever see that that video what? where he's on stage and he's going, he's going, who wants to come back to the states with Robert? And he's singing. He was he was doing rape code. He was it, no. He literally goes. He's he was overseas, and he goes. Do you? Ha-? He was singing it. It was famous. He goes. Do you have your papers? And then he goes. Did you get your shots? That, that's the problem with R. Kelly. That's why I never liked him. He had such a good voice. He got lazy, and he just started going. He's he just, just going. Talking. I want Starbucks. Brevi latte is my drink. I like to walk upstairs and take elevators down. Like, yeah, Shut up. Just starts up. fucking talking. Yeah, yeah, just because you could do a run on something. Yeah, yeah this he, is it right yeah, here. Can he we play it. this without getting? It? I'll buy you some food. He, he, literally just, he literally just goes. Is anybody out there single? <laughs> Grooming in a Wait, song. You gotta, can you put on captions? You got to hear what this guy says. Available for this video. Yeah, because he's he's literally took two people mind. home and they've never seen them again. Yeah, did you hear? Did you did you watch any of that? What did you watch any of that doc? That four part series? I couldn't. It was? I couldn't do it. Surviving. I so I I I turned when it was all the rage. I I turned it on. There there's a story. There's stories you won't believe. Oh, there's here it is. Here it is. Hey. Get your shots, girl. <laughs> You have your passport. Did you get your shots? <laughs> Girl, would you like to come back with Rob? <laughs> America. America. <laughs> Do you have your passport? <laughs> this is, this is Girl, the craziest. Like you this can't show me a crazier Rob. thing than this. Listen to me. This is the ultimate. There's nobody around him to tell him he's a fucking idiot. That's right. so why I love being a no comic. One, no. If I did that on stage, if I was like, is anybody <laughs> wants to go to Westchester <laughs> and go get a chicken club? Do you have your easy pass? Do you have your booster? <laughs> Dude, he he he's first of all, no one checked him his whole life. You go back now and you look at every song. Every song is just like, is every song is literally what he's been doing to women well, like, <laughs> for well, twenty years. Yeah, I know. He's just telling you what the fuck's it's happening. Just a, but yeah, so he, he says, "Do you have your passport? Do, do you, you have, have your shots? shots, girl? Do you want what to come you? with Robert?" To America. America, but then he does this. <laughs> America. America, yeah, it's like it's like he's recruiting with a dress. He's like dangling you know when he got the off. carrot of freedom in front of them. You know when he got off, he was like this. He was like this. Did you see what? Did you see that new thing I did? They were like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, like these fucking Anybody? poor guys. I feel bad. Did for you write that down. I feel bad for the people that have to tour with famous people when they got to go oh, back God. and like. Did you see, dude? That when you did America, <laughs> yeah. the part when you went America, you showed them where it was. Dude, are you kidding me? Nah. Do with the America stuff, dude. You could do that anywhere too. Not just, not you could do it in Cambodia, Vietnam, 
You can add that. You can do it. Wait, do anywhere it. where you, you need can do shots. It everywhere that's not America. <laughs> yeah. Except America. But you could do, do would you like Europe? And Europe would be something like this. I like the girl in the audience who's like, I have a passport. I oh. want to go to America. I want to go to America. I. Oh, I don't have my shots. <laughs> no, my shots. She's like, she's like this. She goes, she goes. She, yeah, yeah. she takes her hand back down. No. Do you have your passport? Yeah. Do you have your shots? Ah, Something shit. slowly dies inside. Yeah. Them. <laughs> you know how many girls want to got their shots the next day? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Fuck it, man. Piece of shit. Oh shit, man! I never realized that you had the same name. He is so. That is the laziest shit ever. Look at him. Look at that outfit. Yeah. I um, mean, the look worst. At that. He pulled up the worst R. Kelly lyrics. Are you got you good, Kim? You got to switch on some. Um, but we're still good, right? Right now. No, no. Um, my, my, my name's not Vincenzo. I will say that. I don't want to move forward anymore like that. What my, are you talking about? My name is my name that you know. I Sal. Just, yeah, I was just bullshitting. I was just, Your name is not F Vincenzo. I, Vincenzo, no. You I were was, lying to me. I was ha Well, I was having fun. It depends on which way you want to slice you, that. You know what my kid just said? Oh, well, I'm going to slice it the yeah, way men slice. Like. I'm going to slice the way God slices it. Yeah. You were lying. Yeah. No, 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 no. There's no gray no, area with no, God. No, no, we're no. We're in a platform that, that, that represents a playful atmosphere. <laughs> oh, God has the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is the <laughs> this platforms in the Bible. Yeah, this is the Bible. Except in the podcast yeah, world. Yes, yes. You're good. I got you. Let me tell you something. You're like my kid. My kid lied to me and I said you're lying he goes dad I was joke lying oh he called it joke lying oh he coined that he coined joke lying joke lying yeah so you were joke what lying what do you lie about do you remember or no it's just does it all the time um no I, I forget he, are you with the kid Were you? how old is your son now he's nine 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 wow yeah. that's one of the best ages right I mean you're in the window of like every a, single age I've had uh, this is the problem with having a kid everybody goes dude the best age is now the best it's age it's always every if you love your kid right you, every single age is the best age. Right. I mean, I've loved every, every single every second graduation of it. stage. But now, what's frustrating with this age, and, and it just happened this week, is that he's nine. He has friends, and now you have to accept your shit being oh. broken. Oh, yeah. Like I brought a, I bought a new uh, hundred and fifty dollar backpack, really thin, sleek. It's got all the stuff in it, and he's one of his friends stepped on the the clip. And it's a special clip. You can't replace it. So the bag's done. That's that's. It's, or I'm gonna wear it. Weird. It's gonna right, be weird. Right, 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 you know? right, right. And then our table. We have a beautiful yard should, in the backyard. Let me just. You should look. Contact the manufacturer. Sometimes they have a little bit of a warranty. <laughs> what am I? Eighty. <laughs> I'm gonna write a letter. You said it was hundred fifty dollars. <laughs> Listen, you should I'll, write to them by via quill pen. No, take, you, take just they, put it on a messenger <laughs> a pigeon and just see if they get the buckle back. Oh, to my you. fucking knee is still. I want to sue. <laughs> I'm gonna get the money for the bag by suing. You have insurance, right? I yeah, but I, this has nothing to do with me. This place. Dude, this dude. is a shell operation. <laughs> <laughs> I really do feel like I'm in the Wolf of Wall Street right now. Before you, you guys, in, it's like yeah. just a bunch of phone lo uh, phones and like you know, it's just, it is. It's a chop house. It's fucking crazy. I but. actually have a question about um your your kid's age. Yeah. Do they know you now? Do they look you up because they look up to Stefano and they kind of heckle him? Um, no, he knows me, but he's no his friends. Oh, uh, his friends, no. Okay. I don't think so, but he's very proud of me. He's been on stage with me. That's he's been awesome. in front of 17,000 people at the Boston Garden. That's amazing. Because uh, Stefano, his kid's teacher or somebody was like, oh, he's not famous. He's not a good comic. Oh, really? No. <laughs> they never do that? No. No, because I go to the school and go, listen, you shut your <laughs> You never talk to my son like that again, you piece of garbage. <laughs> How dare they? <laughs> De Stefano's one of the fucking biggest comics. What the fuck? What? Uh, well, they want to get I would have. I would have took him right out of the school. <laughs> I would have took him right out of school. I would have just, I would have just put a, like clipped, hooked up a mic right there and just started doing stand up in the holes, <laughs> just making everyone laugh. And just then go, they, what then they you? would have proved she, she would have been right. I would, have, <laughs> I would have been like, no, nah, the teacher was right. I was just bombing in front of nine year olds. <laughs> yeah. You, I, I told you this. You killed. Speaking of bombing, killing, you crushed one of the hardest sets I've ever seen crushed. I told you this before. I told you on your own podcast. Right on our cruise. On the cruise, yeah. It was the one of the hardest crushes I've ever seen. I couldn't believe it. Oh, that was you fun. I mean, it was like one of those ones you just like you see in like the movies where people are just like the walls are shaking, like people are falling out of their seats. It was crazy. Yeah, that was, a like, good it, was it was good and it was better as better as getting and, and then we were just like all on the side, the other comments like just being like, Holy shit, dude. And yeah, then Jay had to go on after I you. Bet, Big Jay had to go on after you. Yeah, but he's I mean anybody he's, could he's the one if it, and he, yeah. the, I, and he, well, he killed, but I mean Yeah, he went down, he just sits. That's confidence. <laughs> somebody's, yeah. somebody's just murdering. It's like, hey, how are you? <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? That's why Jay's confidence is out of the roof. You've been, you've been, how long have you been doing comedy? 
I, if our audience, I mean, I feel, I feel like our audience 100% knows yeah, he's you. He's a legend, yeah. Yeah, yeah no, Do, of course. That's what I'm saying. Like, they probably no, know I'm not you. Voss. You don't have to call me those. I'm a legend. <laughs> but, <laughs> but to me, that, your whole, that whole group of you guys is to me. I mean, you, you guys are the comics I grew up like watching. Right. And, and, and I, 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 before we were ever friends, I told you I've paid to see you. That's so weird. Isn't it weird? Yeah, that's so weird. I remember when we met officially, it was at like a skank fest, like maybe like eight eight years ago, whatever it was. Yeah. Because I, I remember it because I knew you. You didn't know me. Yeah. You know, but when we walked in, you knew of the show we met. But yeah. prior to that, I had seen you do comedy over the years, 10 times. No shit. Yeah. That's wild. I remember when I first watched your, I watched your sketches. And then, uh, oh God, no, like dude. the old ones, one of the funniest sketches oh, I've ever yeah, seen yeah, in one. my life. And I still have it on my phone <laughs> yeah. and I still play it and it's genius. You told it's me it's fucking, funnier. can I talk about it? Or is yeah, it yeah, uh, yeah, no, I don't care. He goes, <laughs> Sal, <laughs> Sal, the, the closet and it's so, is it? It's so beautiful because you the closet just has lights under the door. Yeah. It's a time machine. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And you go into the time machine and there's just lights under the door, or whatever. Yeah, we did a, all, yeah. It was just stupid, DIY. silly yeah, shit. Stupid, yeah. And then all of a sudden you come back out and you'd be like Well, yeah. What happened was in the sketch, um James yeah. Murray, who's on my show. Right. He goes, uh so I we're roommates. I eat his I eat his leftover Chinese. Right. He's pissed off. Right. So for revenge, he it builds, builds a time machine, builds it goes up. into the future, yep. and finds my future daughter and has right. sex with her. Right. And comes back. Which is funny. Which is yeah. Which is hilarious in right. itself. Right. But the because reason I mean the the, the, the I mean that's that's it's not crazy. penalty. It's not. It's crazy it's that crime. he built a time machine and you and but has, you believe it. Fucks and my daughter. Fucks your daughter. And then you go in the same time machine and come <laughs> go, back go into the and you go. I fucked your son. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I want. I'm helping. Buddy <laughs> is so excited. He does a dance. I swear. He goes like this. He goes. He, he like flaps. His leg comes up. <laughs> yeah. And he hits his own leg. I've never seen a dance move like that. And I do it once in a while. I can't do, do it now. Because really? there's fucking there's 90 couches in here. And fuck, I feel like I'm in the warehouse of Ikea. This is, this is, but this is like. The, was, dude, fu yeah, I fucked your son. No, son. I fucked his, you sang and a song. And he fucked me back. And he fucked. Dude, it's so catchy. I can't sing it because I'll sing it. No, I, I, I almost it, sang it in front of my son. Did you really? Yeah, because it's, I fucked your son. I fuck, and he fucked me back. Yeah. And I could just, and you were doing this. Yeah. And, oh, it's fucking terrible. But it was. I think I took it down offline. <laughs> but, but, but basically, I, I run in the time machine after he tells me he fucks my daughter and I come back and he's playing video games and I sit down and I'm like you're not worried I went to the future he's like no I'm not he goes I don't care because I don't have a daughter uh -huh. so I was like you don't I go but you do have a son I go and I fucked your son and then I go and I didn't even just have sex with him I said I want to break his heart so I dated him for six months and then I cheated on him yeah. And then I I, sh I come out and I have all the photos. Like I took, I, I we went out and shot that. So I came back and I show him all the photos of me and his son and everything. It's uh, it was a <laughs> it's fucking one of the funniest things. One of the funniest things I've ever seen. Thanks, yeah. I fucked your son. Yeah, and the, if you watch it, just watch when you slap your foot. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how <laughs> that came up. It had to be pure excitement from fucking it was, this kid. It was, <laughs> we just improvised it, and I was singing all this. Yeah, I po 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 wow. his face. I, it was all during the. I was singing. I know it was. Um, what was this? The the song. Uh, what's the song with Red Fox? What's the play thing with Red Fox? Bam, bam. Dun, dun, dun. I fucked your son. Oh, was that it? I fucked your son. His name was Craig. <laughs> and I'm done it. Uh, yeah, what's that? Sanford and Son. Yeah, Sanford and Son. The theme yeah, yeah. song. Nobody knows that except us, probably. No, I know. It's sad. No. I actually did a reference on stage the other night, and they were just looking at me like, what? I oh, know. It was our, uh, uh, all in the family. Yeah. See, the thing I is. Go, what are you, Archie Bunker? They went, who's that? Oh, no. That's terrible. I was like, fuck. That's bad, dude. Hey, guys, come see me on the road. All tickets are available right now at SavileCanoComedy.com. Uh, my fall dates are up through the end of the year. I'm going to be next week. I'm going to be in uh, Hamilton, Ontario, and Toronto. Toronto, we've added a show. That's October 14th and 15th. And the rest of October, we're doing the... Richmond, Virginia, the Carpenter Theater, Hershey, Pennsylvania. They added a second show there. That's selling fast. Um, 
And that is all for October. November, we're in Knoxville, Atlanta, and Birmingham. We're also in Louisville and Evansville. And then it rounds out in December. I'm going to Florida, to Orlando, Jacksonville, and Tampa. In Tampa, we added a second show. And I end the year over in California. I'm doing Santa Rosa, California, San Jose, California, and we are doing Sacramento. Everything's on sale right now. Merch is up. I got solo merch, and all the podcast merch is up as well at salvolcanocomedy.com. Hope to see you guys on the road. October, we got Dead Crow Comedy Club in North Carolina. In November, I'll be going to Michigan to do a bunch of shows. And I've got tons of other stuff around that stuff and after that stuff and coming up in the new year and all that. Anyway, you can find all of it at joedarosainfo.com. Also, if you're in New York City, please come to my bar and sandwich shop, Joey Rose's. Uh, all info for there is joeyrosesnyc.com. We're open sa- six days a week, opening at 12 p.m. every day. Great sandwiches, awesome hang, and lots of booze. Yep. See, I, 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 I had that on stage. I had like, I'm like, oh, this would kill if the right order. Like, I know, I'm, I don't, I don't do the reference when I'm like, I'm about to do this reference. Like, if it was an audience of people our age, it would do great. But I'm like, I don't even want to. Yeah, risk it's it like anymore. going overseas. You have to. Like the first show is all editing out the stuff. It's, it's all like, like feeling. Oh, they out. don't know what fucking Mercer Street is. Right. They don't know certain. You got to take out the details that make it America. Right. Right. Or right. New York, and then I have a bit about uh, the song "The Rhythm Is Gonna Get You" by Gloria Stefan, the Miami Sound Machine. You mean with the one with the the Congo drums? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, basically, my my bit because when I was younger, I was a terrified kid, really, and I was when I was younger, I was I was actually scared. Of the rhythm, because the song that would, they played it constantly was like you were scared that it was going to come out on a train. It's going to get you, and you was going to start dancing. The rhythm, rhythm going to get you tonight. <laughs> oh, you thought the the rhythm was scared like a it's monster coming to get me? Yeah, really? Yes. <laughs> and I and I really really like it was. I was very scared when I was little. Dude, that's so fucking but, nuts. I know, but it was. You it's like so they're like oh, now. Or, or, they're like singing everything and the Congo drums. It feels a little haunting. And she's going, the rhythm is going to get you. The, the yeah, lyrics, you, the lyrics. You, it, was, it was a, se- you know, the, the, it was a sexual song. The rhythm is going to get you to dance. Like, you can't fight it. I know. Like it's going to go inside you, and you're going to start Well, doing now this I shit. know. I, now I'm going to be like, you're fucking, no, now I know that. But, but now back, back then, then, I had no idea that, that I, I was taking it literally, you know, so. Did you have a brother? S- three sisters. Oh. But my mother, <laughs> when I was being bad one time. Oh, no. She picked up the phone. And she went, yeah. She went, hello. Yeah, he's he's not he's not being good at all. Hold on one second. And she went, yeah, the rhythms on on the phone to talk. No, to yeah. <laughs> she made me literally almost shit myself. I was sleeping with the lights on for two years after that. You were afraid of the? Did you go to your like high school dance? I was. <laughs> but were my you afraid point, of the rhythms gonna come down the wall? I swear, it's just, listen to the lyrics. The lyrics. It's gonna get you tonight. She says, in bed, throw the covers over your head and pretend like you're dead because the rhythm's gonna get you tonight. <laughs> I mean, dude, that's kind of fucking I was scary. 11. That's 11. Actually, I never listened to lyrics. Yeah. Is that real lyrics? I swear to God. No way. I swear to God. Oh, that is creepy. Oh, he's angry. Yeah, maybe you're, maybe you're right, dude. I'm telling you. All right, let me see this. No clue what's right. At night, when you turn off all the lights, there's no place that you can hide. The rhythm's going to get you. In bed, throw the covers on your head. <laughs> pretend like you're dead. Because you know the rhythm is going to get you. There's no way you can fight it. No matter what you say, the rhythm is going to get you. You're going to have no clue of what's happening to you. And before this night, this night is through, that rhythm is going to get you. I was shitting myself. The rhythm's going to rape time this you. Woman that's, a ra- that's worse than R. Kelly. I heard Congo drums. I would piss. <laughs> you know what I mean? But people don't know what the song is. What was I was getting at? You couldn't even enjoy the Puerto Rican Day Parade. I couldn't even do it. I couldn't go anywhere where there was salsa. My God! No, but people, people would, uh, people didn't get it. Like I, I was never, doing. If I, I do it for my it. audience strictly, yeah. I'll mostly get it. But like sometimes in a club or whatever, younger people, they just and I have to like. Okay, so there was this song. Yeah, you got to let that go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the thing where it's like, dude, it ain't gonna work. That's like that joke. But it that, kill, it is, I was using it as a closer for a while. You were. Yeah, it was. It was closer. Yeah. I sometimes think, I still it's do. Pretty funny. Yeah. Uh, crushes, you, you've been in crushes. But, but the new fans are like, what? Yeah, but I, but there's a fix. You know, you just kind of spoon feed. You should. Them. Like open, this is how the song goes. That should be the song you come on to. It's a song I leave to. Is it? Yeah. It's awesome. It's great. Yeah. It's fucking great. It's fun. That's fun. Well, that's really awesome. It, it, it was good. It was one of those bits, you know, that was like, it was it wrote itself, which is the best Dude, kind that of that must explode the crowd. You do that bit, it crushes, and then you play that song. Yeah. 
And you must you must go. Dun, 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 I mean, dun, dun, thank dun, you. Dun, good night. Dun, you must feel like I shut you out of there, Michael Jackson. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that the best? Like when you have that type of show oh, and you say the perfect goodbye at the perfect time. When you do the joke, the crowd pops. And you go. That's my time. Oh. And then they go. And you're, like, ah. and you're trying Gotta to keep it together because tears are coming up. Yeah. <laughs> I never had a dad. I never had nobody love me. And you guys love me so much. I want to stay in there with you. You got to get them right on that upswing. Uh, and they're about to. And you say thank you on that. And then they go. Oh. Yeah. So happy. You, you could do one like joke too much too, though. I know. If you, I, fuck I, it. Attack too much. Even. I want too much. And if you and if you don't get that I know. boom laugh, I know. And, know. Then, and then you walk off, and I'm just going. Fuck it. It's like thank you, good night. And they're yeah. like, oh, okay, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thank you. It, Rhythm is gonna get. You know he's gonna be dancing. Right? <laughs> is there one in your memory that's brutal? Ah, uh, yeah, but the worst one. Uh, first time headlining. What, you talking, talking bombs? Not a bomb. Okay. The ending. Okay. Where I fucked up. Yeah. I got, <laughs> cause I, you know, look, dude, I had a rough upbringing, uh, you know, jail, juvie, all that shit. Guys, as if Amazon wasn't convenient enough, we now have Amazon Pharmacy. Okay, I when I want to go to the drugstore, I'm always there the last minute. I'm always hoping they'll be open. The pharmacy always has different hours than the actual drugstore. Sometimes I get to the drugstore, the pharmacy's closed. I can't stand it, or I get stuck in a line. I get stuck in a line, and then they're discussing my medical history out loud. I don't love that in the pharmacy. Um, that's why we love Amazon Pharmacy. Yes, that Amazon. Amazon Pharmacy delivers a better pharmacy experience. Delivers directly to your door with most insurance plans. Uh, so that's it. You know, you're going to save time, you're going to save money, and you're going to stay healthy. There's trans parent pricing okay so you know exactly what you're paying before you pay it uh you can save up to 80 percent if you're a prime member on your prescriptions uh and like i mentioned earlier amazon pharmacy works with most of your insurance plans and also check this out if you ever have questions any problems real pharmacists are always available on amazon pharmacy no matter what time day or night that is huge your medication goes right to your door there's no more rushing out to the store before they close a pharmacy that works for your life with meds delivered to your door it doesn't get any better than that switch to amazon pharmacy and saves time save money and stay healthy learn more at amazon.com slash buds that's amazon.com slash buds amazon.com slash buds Average savings based on usage and inside RX data as compared to cash prices. Average savings for all generics are 78%. 37% for select brand medications. Restrictions apply. Boy, oh boy, do I love Bespoke Post. We talk about it, um, and I get my box of awesome collections every single month since they have started on the pod. Every single month, I get a Bespoke Post box. I let them pick. I don't know what it's going to be. I recently got... Um, a, a, an herb an herb growing kit which i'm using to make like rosemary and thyme in my own kitchen which is a lot of fun that's great you're prince prince herb i am prince herb and i'm making those <laughs> herbs <laughs> i got a fresh mozzarella making kit with like these tomatoes that you grow it's so cool and i got a really cool knife nice. i swear and i gave the knife to my dad yesterday he came to visit and he actually really really loved it a knife and a neck tattoo. <laughs> yeah. That's a sexy Dad's guy. going wild. Um, <laughs> from camping gear to essentials to travel, even autumn cocktail kits, the Box of Awesomes have you covered for the fall. Um, to get started, take the quiz at boxofawesome.com. Your answers help them pick the right box for you. They release new boxes every single month across all different categories. And each box is valued at around 70 bucks. But because you join the subscription service, that's where you save. You, you only pay a fraction of that price. So you're getting these things in the mail that are worth 70 bucks and you're paying just a few bucks. With each box of awesome, you're also supporting small businesses because 90% of everything that comes in your box of awesome is from a small and up and coming brand. That's one of the best things I like about this company. Um, it's free to sign up and you can skip any month and you can cancel any time. So try it. And it's fun. Just It's just fun. You get home and there's a box and you don't know what's in it and it's fun. Live life again, really. Get 20% off your first monthly box when you sign up at boxofawesome.com and enter the code TASTEBUDS at checkout. That's boxofawesome.com, code TASTEBUDS for 20% off your first box, boxofawesome.com, code TASTEBUDS. I went back to Boston for the first time headlining a theater for the first time, sold out. Wilbur Theater. Okay. Right when the Comedy Connection moved from there to here, I'm selling it out. 
and I, I do the show, and I'm fucking killing. And what that means, I mean, the Wilbur is like a comedic institution in Boston. Well, it's 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 like it's like the room. It's the best room to play comedy in, really. It's one of the best rooms. And to be from Boston, it's like, but it's a the, like for me, it was my. I'm a club theater, comic. Yeah, I'm a club guy. So to play that theater in my hometown and sell it out, my family was there. You know, it's like all the fans were there, and I I murdered. And I said goodnight at the perfect time, and it was like, yeah. and I was like, and, I, and then I talked again. Oh. I got so emotional because I was so, oh. oh, you fucking, you. You actually quieted them down. Dude, I went like, I started talking. I went, I want to let you guys know oh. that this means the world to me. And <laughs> the you know, air. I, I've, dude, I kept going. And I was like, you know, the, and I heard a guy go, oh, boy. <laughs> When I want to, when, when I know it's a special <laughs> show and I want to do that, I try to do it like somewhere like before the last bit or something like that. Dude, I ain't ever doing it again. Yeah. I don't give a fuck if I sell out MSG. I'm going, thank you, good night. And I'm just standing night. like Eddie Murphy and I'm fucking walking yeah, yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, I was trying to get emotional. I was trying, because it all overwhelmed me and I'm just yeah. such a, an asshole. And I just want to say, you know, it's been a long road. What? You know, yeah. you know I, I had a hard time. And now that you and you supported me and I support. And if you can change yep. and I can change, yep. then the world, like Rocky, Rocky. fucking, it's like, <laughs> fuck you. I know. And, and I heard, and oh, it just I went, oh, boy. Yeah, yeah, oh, boy. And I saw his face. And he looked at his friend. He was like, I was like, I'm fucking, I'm a comic. What am I doing? I know. I'm getting emotional. They don't care. <laughs> It's the Wilbur. It's not the Garden. I know. I, you know, I know they, what you mean. Yeah, they have a. They have a. You ever walk off to music and they don't play it? <laughs> no. And then so I'm like, thank you guys so much, thank you, and they start clapping, and then you're like, thank you, and then they just don't play, it. and you're like, all right, and then they just like clap, and you kind of just walk off the stage like kind of waving, yeah. and then you get off, and the guy's like, and then he hits it the second you're off. I'm like, what is that? Don't you work here? Like, don't sound you guys, sound guys. Can ruin a they fucking ruin show, it. and they have ruined them. Oh, they have. They 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 sit there because they think you're fucking Leonard Skinnerd, right? And they have to ride the micro. He's a little too high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut. Yeah. I I'm a I do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. a professional. I know how to use this right, right, like a yeah. fucking instrument. You, this is my instrument. You fucking asshole. Yeah, they want. I gotta do, tell them. Don't touch it because you can hear you getting it happened to me. Goddamn uh, Saturday night, <laughs> the guys just sitting there like this. And I, I was like, you could hear me go up and down. And then uh, at, the, at the end, at the beginning too, when they play the song, they don't, you're walking, Robert Kelly, and there's applause, and then you're halfway there. And, and then, then he they, fucking play. It's like, you got to play it the second. It, and they know that. That's what I don't get. Because Sometimes they, they'll be like, oh, there was a lag in the Wi-Fi. They have yeah. the same thing doctors have. They have a God complex. Mm. Because they know <laughs> that they could go boom and your show's over. Yeah. I got into a fight with a sound guy. We're doing Creeps with Kids in Chicago. And uh, the sound, sound and lighting, uh, they came out and he was, uh, the, we had no monitors. We had, there was no lights on the stage. And we got a show. We sold out the theater. And there's people there. And this guy took our package, our sound lighting package, and brought it to another gig. Uh, like, literally set it up. No, that's the one you were Florentine, Voss. Florentine, and, uh, Ron Bennington, Bennington, the great Bennington, yeah. and the legend Rich Voss. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> is that coming back? I love you that played St. George with that. Did St. George? Yeah, yeah, that's here in Staten Island. Yep. Yeah, and uh, Jersey. And um, <laughs> it's Jersey. It's, this is Jersey. Staten Island is not New York. It's Jersey. Well, <laughs> I could see why you say that. I can. It's a hundred percent Jersey. I'm not. I'm a New Yorker, but I could see what you mean. This is not. It's like it's like it's in between somewhere. Absolutely not. This is actually <laughs> fucking Jersey. You refuse? Absolutely not? It's absolutely, this is not. There's Brooklyn. There's four boroughs. Okay. Oh, Listen, that's a sore point. Oh there's some Staten Islands that want to annex. They want to annex. because you're not New York. Well, we are New York, though. Dude, that bridge I took is not New York. That's the same bridge you take to get to Jersey. No. What did you take? Dude, I took the, the fucking Staten Island, the one that the John Travolta jumped off of or something. Yeah. 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 That's not New York. That's the most New York bridge you could have possibly take. Yeah. And then it I stops mean the becoming bridge, New York when it's, it gets into Jersey. The Verrazano is the longest suspension bridge in the United States of America. Yeah. And it goes from New York to Jersey. <laughs> it, goes, it goes from Brooklyn to Staten Island. It goes from New York to <laughs> Staten Island, New Jersey. <laughs> Staten Island has the best... <laughs> Staten Island has the best rated penises in an online survey. I mean, hottest chicks yeah. of all the boroughs. I think Staten Island, New Jer Staten Island, Jersey has the hottest chicks. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> 
Who's that? I guess the woman who raided the penises. Oh, all right. There you go. How'd she... Oh. There was a... <laughs> she, she has to draw a line on him with it. <laughs> Uh, Let's speaking of uh, penises, back yeah. to your son Max. Um, Whoa! I fucked your son. <laughs> I fucked your son. I no, can't wait to play that for him. By the way, what I was getting at earlier was like at nine mm. now. Yeah. Uh, huh. Do you know you, you do have him down? Like, do you know when he's lying all the time? Hundred percent. Does he ever get one over on you? This is all I have to do. I go, Max. Did you do that? And he goes, No, Dad. And I go, And he goes. <laughs> he he crumbles immediately. Dude, he crumbles immediately. To that face immediately. Crum and he starts laughing his ass off. Yeah, yeah. Like, literally, my kid has a great sense of humor. He will laugh his ass and be like, Dad, Dad, I'm telling the truth. <laughs> because he knows how, he, he knows that um, lying is very important to me. Okay. And I said to him, don't ever be a liar. You tell the truth. Man up to your shit. Yeah. Because when you lie, you break trust. And if you don't have trust, you can have a relationship with somebody. You think that he's absorbing that? 100%. Yeah. He's, he's, he's understanding he the, tells me the intricacy when he, of what you mean? 100%. He tells me when he's when he fucked up. He tells, I go, owning your... When you fuck up, I go, you're going to mess up always. Yeah. You're, well, even when he does, I'm like, dude, it's okay. You're going to do this again. Just own it. Right. Own it. Own it and and take and you care can of speak it. to him like that at nine. I do. Yeah, I do. Because yeah, and, he, and yeah. he's actually become a very mature nine year old. That's great. Yeah, like I came out yesterday. I was on my doing my podcast in my little shed studio, and I looked out and he was he had uh, uh, crystal light and wine glasses. And him and his, <laughs> <laughs> him and it's his only friend, five calories. Him and I get his it. Friend, him I and his friend it. was sitting there talking <laughs> like this. And I'm like, <laughs> like goblins. I literally had to get off. I go, guys, give me one second. <laughs> and I went out and I go, You're in the middle of pocket. <laughs> I go, what are you guys doing? He goes, Dad, Jane broke up with me. Yeah, I threw slime in her, but it's all right. No, We're friends. No. And he took a sip and I'm like, I'm gonna let this go down. I'm no. out. I'm just out. And they just sat Him there and, and talked. Friend poured two At one point, my crystal son went like this. My son did this. <laughs> Crazy! Oh, that's amazing! Yeah, he's. He was, uh, they were. They were. They were talking over. Yeah, crystal he made. Light. He was made wine. He knows what wine is. But he made it. Shout crystal out Crystal Light. Light. Oh, I yeah. love do you know Crystal Light? Light? Yeah, banger. How do you know Crystal Light? Crystal Light had its. I mean, Crystal Light's heyday was like the eighties. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe the nineties. Dieting as a teenager. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't. I haven't. I haven't thought of or Ooh, seen Crystal Light I quite some time. I always travel with it. Wow. Because I have to drink water a lot. Yeah, and it helps. And it helps you. Even the that. littlest bit. I love doing it. This is what I love doing. You put it in a, get a water bottle, take the I thing I already off. know. I know what you're going to say. Can what? I say what you're going to say? Yeah, please go. Yeah. I love this I game, this by the way. Gonna, I want to do this again. I want, because I think this is what you do, because this is what I do. What? Okay. You take the water bottle, you put it, you put the crystal light in the water yeah. bottle already. But then you drink it. And every time you drink it a little, you keep filling up with more water? Or no? no? Oh, fuck. So basically, I, what you're doing is you're diluting the drink as you go, but you're getting the taste of, you know, of it all the way down to the no. end, less and less and less. But you could chug it because it tastes really, really good. I like putting it up there because everybody in the audience is going, "What the fuck oh, is he drinking?" You put it in your water bottle. Everybody's take it like, "What do I get to drink?" And then you're out there with this fucking what flavor? purple, 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 or raspberry, right. and it's there's no. I take the the, the banner off yeah, yeah, or whatever yeah, the fuck yeah, it, so it is. It just looks like so a, they're like, "What the fuck do you got?" And I swear to every show, somebody would, "Dude, what were you drinking?" You yeah. curious cunt. Yeah. Do you remember the Crystal Light jingle from the? 80s that was like I the, no the jingle no tell me if this rings a bell to you ready yeah i believe in crystal light because i believe, believe in, in me, me. <laughs> yes that was a fucking Fuck great yeah. jingle yeah, almost as good as i fuck just <laughs> look at these people this is a late night swim yeah. with a with half nude adults look how big the, look how big the package used to have to be though look at that crystal light Crystal Light, that was before we knew that that was just full of aspartame, right? Look at, it's all white people, too. This is before they allowed any minorities in anything. Look at how white... If you go back and watch commercials yeah. from the 80s and 90s, Zero representation. there is not one... There's not even an Italian. Yeah, you're right. I mean, we're talking Puritans. Yeah, right, Puritans. Yeah, we're talking Lilliputians. I mean, look at it, dude. Like, yeah. There's not one. It's all blonde chicks. It's always, it was always a blonde girl. What is going on there exactly in this Crystal Light commercial? Uh, they just got, went from an orgy and then yeah. they jumped in the pool. What, are they at the gym? But then all of a sudden they're night swimming. And look at what you. What's all that water splashing down around her? Well, every commercial, it's sexual. Every commercial was like the same set as a porn set. Like that gym has been used 
in points. That gym that they use in the Chris, that gym right there, that scale has jizz on it. It has to be. Oh, it's in the that they do commercials like in the valley. In the valley, yeah, in the yeah. valley. That's what. Oh, can I tell you the story? Yeah, please. I don't know if I told it on this. Or, oh, hey, babe. But in 1995, yeah, I went to. I took my first plane ride. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was like 18. I went to California with my friends. I stayed yeah. there for a couple of weeks. My friend, we, we crashed on my friend's cousin's ha- uh, couch. My friend's cousin, about 10 years older than us at the time, yeah. just signed a deal with Warner Brothers. His band was called Sister Whiskey, and they were a rock and roll band, and they signed like a big deal with Warner Brothers, and they had a hit radio single called Simple Man. Right. Okay, I'm getting to this part now. No, I'm, I'm interested. He, he, he got me. He had a friend yeah. that was in the Valley that his job was house-sitting for a porn producer named Bruce Seven, who I think has since passed, God rest his soul. Right. I don't know. I don't know him personally, but right. you know, I, I tell Shane when anyone passes. Right. <laughs> so, so he he calls him and says, "Oh, come visit me. I'm house sitting this guy's house in the valley. Yeah. It's this big, beautiful house with a pool. We can hang out. I'm watching his cats." So we said, "All right." So we go there. He lets us in. This guy's long hair. This is when like poise, like rock yeah. was in. They were all glam rock. Yeah, yeah, glam rock. He opens like, "What's up, guys? Come on in." He's like, "Yeah, just." And you walk in, and there's all. A long hallway with all the VHSs, like a thousand of them. Yeah. He puts the, the guy has him in the front hallway right. when you walk through this, all his porn. Wow. With all the awards wow. on the shelves, right? Wow, so we're yeah. like, all right, this is just out right in front as soon as yeah. you come in the house, right? Yeah. So he's like, I'm watching his cats. And he's like, you know, he's, he shows us around. He's, t- he's like, this is the yard. This thing. He's like, oh, come down here. He takes us down the hall. He opens the door. It's like a, it's a huge, huge walk in closet. All sex stuff in there, right? And he goes, yeah, he goes, open that chest. We open it. It's a chest, maybe 100, 150 dildos in it. Right. He goes, my job's to clean the dildos too. So we're like, all right, that's funny, right? So we go out and there's a contraption in the living room that they built. It's like a steel contraption with like ropes. Yeah. And it's like a sex swing right in the goddamn yeah. living room. Right. And we're like, that's unbelievable. Right. So they must do, do porn here. Yeah. So he's like, watch. He takes out a cassette. He puts it. We're sitting on the couch. We're watching. And they're having sex in the porn on the couch that we're sitting <laughs> there. Really? And, they, and then they use the contraption and everything. Really? And then he goes, wait, wait, wait. Check this out. Check this out. And a hand reaches in that's with it. a glove on it and hands a dildo. He goes, that was my hand. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was his moment. Yeah, actually, I, I, know so I bet he still does was, that, by the way. <laughs> I bet I, just I bet. went on a porn tirade. <laughs> I know that should come from me. I'm actually a little fucking uncomfortable <laughs> yeah, right now. All right, yeah. We're, we were from my son. Yeah, sorry to, about that to the kids that yeah. listen. Sorry about that, kids. <laughs> Crystal light, cause I believe, believe in me. <laughs> Jesus, why is she drinking Crystal light in the pool? So refreshing. Yeah. It's refreshing. And you believe in yourself. I, I you still does it have aspartame still? Or they have they have they progressed and found like monk fruit. Look, man, I don't know what I, I, I the aspartame thing dangerous. I'm done, dude. There's, I quit Lab alcohol, rats? I quit drugs, I quit cigarettes, I'm not eating shitty. You I'm, look fantastic. Thank you very much, buddy. I appreciate Your skin it. has a glow. Yeah. I wouldn't just say it. Oh, thank you, buddy. I yeah. appreciate that. Yeah. Um, you have some beautiful head. Oh, thank you, man. It's uh, beautiful. Thank you. I really. They, this it's is, like you can't get more perfect. You know, my mother takes full credit for it. Really? Yeah, because every it's, twenty it's, minutes, it's, I'd it's, roll you. I roll you over. It looks amazing. Yeah. Guys, I want you to check out Roan. That's Roan, R-H-O-N-E. They're a new clothing company that are advertising on the pod, and they they're all about versatility. Okay, so if you're going out for a happy hour, if you're going on a date, if you're going to work, if you're going to an event, if you're leaving work and you want to be let more casual, these are flexible uh, pieces of clothing, breathable, comfortable, flexible clothing that's comfortable and easy to, to, to wear, feels good, but it kind of can transition from work to play. That's their big thing. The dress shirt was due for a radical reinvention, and Roan stepped up for the challenge, yo. Roan's commuter shirt is the most comfortable, breathable, and flexible shirt known to man. And here's why. Roan's comfortable four-way stretch fabric provides breathability and flexibility that leaves you free to enjoy what life throws your way from your commute to work to 18 holes on the golf course. It's time to feel confident with a wrinkle-free shirt without any hassle. Okay, I hate traffic, sweat, the common cold, strong wind, bugs, cats, pointy objects, and general filth. But one thing that I hate that I don't always talk about is wrinkles and I cannot stand taking the time to iron my shirt whether I'm going to work or dinner or wherever it is and I sit there and I put the starch on it and I'm not great at it but I do it and I put in the time and what happens you put the button down shirt on you put your arms in and the second you bend your arms your arms look like accordions and I cannot stand it and this eliminates 
that. They have wrinkle release technology. They disappear as you stretch and wear the shirt. They don't get worse. They get less. With Gold Fusion anti-odor technology, which is another thing I said sweat is that I hate, you'll be smelling fresh and clean all day long. And on top of that, Rowan is 100% machine washable. So you can ditch the dry cleaner altogether and save, save some shit All right. Uh, they sent me some samples. I love them. Truly, you really can wear them to lunch or to a, a funeral or to a date or to a board meeting, really. And you'll feel fresh and you'll feel good and comfortable. Uh, the commuter shirt can get you through any workday and straight into whatever comes next. That's their big signature item, the commuter shirt. Head to roan.com slash taste buds and use the promo code taste buds to get 20% off your entire order. That's 20% off your entire order when you head to roan, R h o n e dot com slash taste buds and use code taste buds it's time to find your corner office comfort who wants better sex i see all of you raising your hands let's talk adam and eve okay <laughs> the best way to get started is to go to adamandeve.com right now adam and eve is offering 55 percent off of just about any item more than that, Adam and Eve wants to make your life easy. They offer discreet shipping as your privacy is a priority, plus free shipping on your entire order. So it's going to be discreet, okay? Doesn't matter how much you spend or what you buy, it'll all be packaged discreetly and it'll be sent to you for free, okay? Bring more pleasure and satisfaction into your bedroom. Just go to adamandeve.com and select any one item. It could be an adventurous new toy or anything you desire. Just enter the offer code TASTEBUDS at checkout and you'll get 50% off of almost any item on that site. And when you do, you'll also get free shipping in your entire order when you enter the offer code TASTEBUDS. That's TASTEBUDS. So it's T-A-S-T-E-B-U-D-S at adamandeve.com. This is an exclusive offer specific to this podcast. So be sure to use the code TASTEBUDS to get uh, not just a discount, but also 100% free shipping. I am intrigued. I'm going to check it out. adamandeve.com, free shipping, code TASTEBUDS. When you have a kid, you, the baby, I, you have to, I know you have about to roll this. it. Raise my sister, yeah. Because I, I know friends who had their kids, they had to put sister. things on their baby's the head. helmet. You had to put a helmet start, on. Because it comes out, first it comes out like it's coming through the Play-Doh Fun Factory. And it's right, all, it's and it's mushy. Mushy. So my mother, because my I have a bald head, she goes, thank me for that. Because I rolled you every 20 minutes. Is, she, that, is that how often you have to do it? She did. She's a fucking psycho that's from a, Boston. That sounds like a lot. She was so worried about my head being She had weird. to turn your head this way. She had to turn, turn me this way, way. Turn me that way. Turn me and this ha- way. They had to make sure you're not sleeping like this. Because the, then yeah. it dents in, right? Isn't yeah, that you ever, wild? You ever see that? You ever see the guy with just a flat back? No. You never saw that? No. Next time, look at Is that because guys. as a child? Uh, yeah. That because, never course yeah, corrects? That. No, it doesn't. Well, you have to wear a helmet. When you're a kid. Yeah, but why not wear the helmet and get rid of that? You can't do it later in life. Your skull is hard. No. Yeah. Look. Yeah. Oh, oh it wow. makes me sad. Uh, why'd you bring up the kids? Bring up the guys. I typed in. Oh, oh there you go. Right there. There you go. Look at that. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, that's a lot. That's significant. Yeah, it's bad. Well, I, you know, when I, when I got really big, I was like 350 at my biggest no shit. Really big dude. Really dangerous. I was gonna. Fu- I was gonna die. But the back of my head, my kid used to call his, his uh, Cinnabon, <laughs> and he used to bite it. <laughs> what the? F- <laughs> because all the wrinkles looked like a, a Cinnabon, and he would go, "Dad, I gotta get some." <laughs> so, and I'm like, "I right, go ahead," and he go, "Ha!" And he just bite the back of my head. So I missed that. He goes, "My Cinnabon's gone." My cin- Oh, I'm so sad. <laughs> How cute is that? Uh, he knows your head's not food, though. Yeah, he knows my head. He's oh, not a moron. He's not uh, retarded. Yeah, right. I don't know. Yeah, he's not. Yeah, I don't know. No, I just that's how I feed him. <laughs> yeah. I, I rub. I, I put sugar on the back of my neck. It'd be great that he understands to trust because you have to build relationships. But then he doesn't understand that the back of your head is <laughs> not a confectionary yeah. treat. I'm sure that that, that stuff like that. Do you let him on him. social media at all? Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I I put him on my thing. Fun stuff. He loves stuff like that. I mean, my my kid loves. He's funny. He's got a sense of humor. I don't put my wife at all on. She's never on. No, not on. what you put. Are you afraid of his relationship? No, he's got a he's got a a, a YouTube page where oh, he does cool. science experiments. Oh, nice. That all That's his friends. So cool. I made him a science table, and my wife was like, "I want a science table." So I was like, "All right, fuck it." So I made him. Yeah, you're handy, right? I'm handy. I guess I would call it. You're, or you I'm, are though. I'm, I'm a man. Did yeah. you build a pirate ship in New York? I built the pirate ship. Yeah. 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 That's handy. That's being a man. 
Well, that's a shot at me then because I have trouble hanging f- f- picture frames. I'm a different type of man. Okay. No, I'm sorry. I didn't know. I thought <laughs> you were going to be like, yeah, I can build a I, house from scratch. Yeah, I mean, your dad a man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're a sissy boy. I, <laughs> no, but that's in now. That's I mean, the thing. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Uh, I embrace it. Dude, my dick this is, is not my in. thing now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now, I'm out. Out with you. I'm not even in you're commercials anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, your dad, like you know that. That's You're the a, new face of Crystal Light. You should be that. Uh, you should take it away from them. You know what yeah, I mean? You, I imagine you just jumping in the pool, just like yeah, yeah. Just jumping in the pool, yeah. and throwing Crystal Light in my face. You should. Yeah, yeah, at the gym with five pound dumbbells. <laughs> um, yeah, your dad can build houses, huh? Yeah, yeah, he oh, did. He was a carpenter great. and he was like an HVAC guy and a, Love a that. sanitation man. And he did all that kind of stuff. Car- carpenters fascinate me. Yeah. That these guys just learn how to build something. Yeah, I don't get it. He used to like knock down walls in our house and like build new ones and stuff. And <sighs> I don't know. Liz, how do you do that? Yeah, you just, I how mean, do you, how do you learn to do that? How'd you learn? I learned uh, my. My uh, stepdad, Larry, uh, he worked at a, a lumber yard or whatever. But, you know, anytime something had to be done, we just did it. You know, he wanted, you know, he's Italian, you know. So, of course, all the grass had to go out of the backyard and, and sure. we had to cement it. Cement it, yeah. Put a deck, an above ground pool. And you just kind of like. He just would, he'd have the stuff dropped off and we'd just do it. And he has a well, friend tell Rocco. you what to do. We'd be like, do this, do yeah. that. Yeah, you just do this. You got this, how you wow. do it. So, when I got a house, my wife was like, we need a fence. So I just went on YouTube. That's, saw that's some dude. an insane thing. That's an insane thing. What? To be like, I need to build a fence and look on YouTube and then build a fence. Uh, yeah, there's because got, there's got to be things that, like, that's beyond my, can you do that? You handy? If I had YouTube, I could do it. Yeah. You think you could you build don't a have YouTube? Well, I used to have to be an assistant on sets and like help build okay. bullshit. Yeah, yeah I, I, I go to YouTube because I, I have a learning disability. I can't, I have dyslexia. I can't read. I can't absorb what I read well, but I absorb very quickly videos. Okay. So if you tell me something once, I built a gun cabinet, I built a safe, the shed I have, I did all the interior, but it's all from YouTube. My my heat went out in the middle of February last year. Yeah. It went out. Okay. And I called the guy and he's like, 250 to come out, 250 an hour. And I was like, you know, screw you. Right. And, uh, I just went on YouTube and there was a guy with a hair lip. He was like, snaps, you want to snap, get this snaps. I had to watch it like 17 you times. You fixed your heat off a YouTube video? Off a YouTube video. The there was, in your house. Dude, there was one screw. I had to take all the stuff off. And then there was a screw. Go like that. Put it back no in. No way. Fucking go, go, kick back on. Yeah. No shit. 100%. Save myself $1,000. Wow. Yeah. When you're going to be like, all right, I got to build a shed. Yeah. How do you know? Find that you know how to nail something into each other or saw something. Yeah. But how do you know the inventory of what kind of planks you need? And you got to go, you got to How do you know you that it's soundly, soundly load bearing? How do you know it's sound? How, or the physics behind it, the, oh, the engineering behind oh, no, building no, no, a no. frame. I don't, I don't know. I didn't build a shed. I built a pirate ship, but yeah. I don't know that. I mean, there oh, okay. could be 10 kids in that and they all die. Okay, okay. That's a risk you take. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like when I put my fence up, you know, you. this is what you need. As a comic, there's a difference between a comic man, like, you know, that, and a regular man. So okay. every comic guy, like you need, all you need is a real man friend. I have a real man friend, okay. Joe, Big Shoulders Joe. Okay. Joe Giordano. He's my man friend. He's got guns. Yes, he's, Jay. he's got a Range Rover. You know, he, right. so when I call him, he's like, he's the guy who's like, dude, you should do a, you know, do something over here. Right. And I'm like, uh, you know, so I'll, I'll go with him and be like, oh, you going to do is this. And I'll go to the YouTube. I'll watch a guy. He'll come over and help me, you know, put stuff together. How you know? satisfying is it? When you decide to do a project like that and yeah. you f- see it to completion and then you could just, I mean, it must feel like amazing. Oh, dude. When do you, you see, cook? Uh, I used to cook. I feel like that's the same thing. I don't cook and I can't do this, but I feel like, imagine like finishing an amazing meal for people or building like a oh, yeah. pirate ship and then you're done. Yeah. It's like the closest I come to that is finishing like a Lego set. Well, that's what my, le- <laughs> <laughs> my God, <laughs> my wife loves me. Yeah. Yeah. My wife, you know, her, her, she gets hard nips. When I, she goes, you decide to, well, I need a, I want a science table. Woodworking, woodworking. Science table for Max. Woodwork. I came out, the thing pops up. I got a side shelf and it says Max and Wood has his oh. name on it. It's got lights. So are you going the extra mile? No, because, because I like doing it. Okay. I like building shit. Right. 
I like making shit. Like when we go, I got a, I got a shotgun and I had to build a gun safe. So I made this whole wooden cabinet. She's like, I need a bookshelf for Max. We went, Max, we went to get them. Then a thousand dollars. Yeah. A wood bookshelf is a thousand dollars. I just went and bought the wood and I built it. I mean, it cost me seven thousand dollars, <laughs> but I built it. You know what where, I mean? Where are you shooting shotguns? You hunt? I bought uh, you land. You don't hunt with a shotgun, do you? No, you uh, no, you don't. You can, but you shouldn't. Uh, you bird. Uh, you shooting birds with shotguns? Uh, I, absolutely, yeah. You, you want to spread. You want to spread. So when it flies up, you poof, and it spreads, and it's little tiny pellets. Big game like pheasants. Like what do you shoot? Yeah, yeah, sparrow. Shoot. Not a sparrow. Who are you going to get a, what, a what sparrow? Are you shooting? A, a, sparrow. a tweedle, a tweedy bird? Or you, no. What are you shooting? You shoot a, yeah, you, sh you shoot a turkey, a pheasant, you know, all that stuff with a, with a shotgun. You shot a pheasant? No. You, you're getting, you're getting ahead of me because you're fucking what freaking out. a pheasant? Out. A pheasant is foul. Right. Yeah. Any, any, any turk, any, any bird? Any bird that you can, yes, you no, can shoot a shotgun. No, what constitutes foul? Is this, is, is a blue bird. jay a foul? Yeah. I, is no. it? I don't know. Now you got me I thought all a pheasant was a specific bird. No, fowl. Fowl, no, fowl is a bird. Fowl is all birds, right? A bird of order of blah, it keeps eggs. Yeah, so one that has eggs and flesh. Fowls. Yeah. There see. you go, right there. Fowl are birds belonging to one of the two biological orders, namely the game fowl, the land fowl, and the water fowl. Anatomical and molecular similarities suggest these two groups are closely ever uh, related. Yeah. Uh, I still, that doesn't mean anything to me. I learned nothing. Birds collectively, especially as a... Yeah, that's foul, but what a pheasant is a specific... You shot a... What, what would you shoot? I never... What have you shot? Listen, I I shot a squirrel and a chipmunk. No, you didn't, Bob. I killed both No, of them. you didn't, Bob. Come on. No, I'm kidding. No, did I'm you? Kidding. I'm kidding. To speak to the truth. Kidding. I'm going to tell you right now. No, you're lying now. You, you lied, did it. You're, you're back, you're back you stepping. You buy, I you're did not. I swear to God. <laughs> Mine was, yours was murder. I swear. Yours was murder and you got I cold swear. feet. I swear, yeah. I swear to God. I've never killed a squirrel or a chipmunk. Okay. I was joke lying. Okay. And, okay. <laughs> well, you're going to ruin my trust in you now. I'm not because I'm yes, not lying. You know I came it. out. I fucking immediately said I wasn't lying. I was lying. A chipmunk. I, am, I didn't kill Can anything. Can you imagine gunning down a squirrel with a shotgun? No, but I will have to kill chipmunks. Why? Because they'll f they they'll fucking eat through. Where are we in this? Because I we got to get to battle time. We're about forty five. Oh my god! All right, we have to at some point battle uh, Turkey Club versus Sloppy Joe, and that's going to start in a moment. We should move on to the battle. Uh, but uh, okay. but all right. But have you what have you shot with the shotgun? I've yet? shot nothing. Nothing yet. Targets. Okay. Targets. I've shot. It's from home protection. But how do you shoot a target if it's a spray? Well. You, you didn't say, did you, you know, see this is what you're happening. You're going all over the place. Uh, right, right. You're taking stuff. This is like talking to my wife. Okay. I didn't say that. <laughs> right. You made that up. You went forward in your head. Did you I? asked me, do you have a gun? I said, yes, I do. Okay. And you shotgun. What do you shoot with shotguns? I said, foul. You shoot birds? No, I said, you asked what you shoot, you shoot. with shotguns. Okay. I said, what guys shoot with shotguns? Okay. And they shoot birds. And then you said, foul. Is foul all birds? Okay. And I was like, I don't fucking know. So you never kill shot things. the shotgun? I've shot shotguns. I've shot clays. Okay. I know how to shoot a gun. Okay. But my shotgun, thank God I haven't used it because it's for home protection. So if I use it, that means there'd be some dead guy okay. in my kitchen. So okay. no, I haven't shot this shotgun. So at where's my house. the shotgun stay? The stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, if, Bobby. Bobby. I gotta calm Tell down. Bobby, I gotta hang Bobby, on. Let me blow out some birthday Bobby, candles. Bobby. 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 <laughs> Bobby. 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 <laughs> I learned that on The Good Doctor. <laughs> Bobby, I love that show. Tell us more about this show. What, what about my, I, I forgot about my special. My special's <laughs> yeah, coming out. Right. We didn't even talk about my special. Right, right, we'll, we'll get, we're going to get it. Okay. All right. So so the shotgun, and is it, it's locked. So then if you hear an intruder, you got to get to the No, keys, the, 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 it, then, I, the then key. Then put the bullets in or it stays no, in. The bullets, are, you always keep a gun loaded. You never keep a gun unloaded in your house if it's for home the protection. Point, if it's home the safety's on, right. but you keep that sucker loaded. Yeah, that there's 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 five shots in it, ready to go. Five in a row, and it's cocked. I just got to turn the safety off. Boom. Let me ask you a question because yes, I've sir. thought about this in my head. Yes, because I've never really lived in a place where I was like. Usually, it's been apartment buildings, or I live with someone who's up security. Down. Never been like in a place where I was like, all right, it's just me, yep. and that's it. Yep. And I was thinking about if I ever wanted to get protection. Now in New York, which you don't live in New York, right? I live in Westchester. I oh, actually do. live in New York. So, oh, you do. So, I live in Bestchester. Be right. I live where you should have so went. You can't shoot somebody of Jersey. In New York. I went up there. Yeah. You, Westchester is like Jersey. You, you. So you can't shoot somebody in your house. They have to be coming toward you. But don't you, they have to have a weapon? I. Um, do you have a weapon to plant on them? I have to say that 
I know. Well, I mean, as they're coming towards you, you have to say, "Please don't, please don't, this please is, don't." Yeah. I'm ple- and you cock it. Hopefully, they leave. And if they keep coming, you can you can shoot them. Okay. You can't shoot them in the back. Okay. If they're walking away, like right. if they're leaving, you you know you got to flip them over. Right. You know right. you got to. <laughs> but I have caught friends up there too, <laughs> so I, I kind of know what to do. All right. If there's a scenario, if you shoot them, like if I and you kind of pull them in, you know what yeah. I mean. Pull him into the house. Right. right. You know what I mean? <laughs> like and he's a vampire. You, and then I have, him in. I might or might not have a buck knife. Right. You know, huh, with the duct tape on it that right. it might be, you know. <laughs> I've watched enough movies in the 80s yeah, and 90s. You're ready. To know, listen. L- let me ask you this. Yeah. I've thought of this. So now, yeah. are you prepared? And I think that you won't know until the moment. Yeah. But obviously, if you are in immediate danger or especially your wife or child, yeah. Yeah. there's no question you're going to shoot this person. 100%. This hundred percent, but you will end up shooting and probably killing a yeah. person. Yeah, I have no problem with that. But you have no problem. That's, at that point, no, I have no you're, you've made with peace with that. You no, will go no forward, problem. being like that person was about to. to harm I have us? not one fucking. If you come in and okay. fucking threaten my family whatsoever, if you come into my house, yes. and by threatening my family, if you come after me, I'm the breadwinner. Right, you're threatening my fucking family. Protect. You know, my right. I got to be here for my kid. That's why I lost the weight. I'm right. I, he I, he's not living my life. Right. You come, you're, you're gone. You're gone. And if I don't have a gun, I, I'll, I'll, I'll cut your head off and hold your head up and hand it to the cops. Right. I'm that guy. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you threaten those two so people. So let me ask you this. Will I mean, you, if, if someone came in right now yeah. and threatened you two, I'd be like, hey, man, I'm going to check. I'm going right, to right, do right, it with me. Right. right. No, you're you not going to put it right. Yeah. But do you then feel like you'd have to move immediately because there was a... A murderer in your house that you will never be able to not look like. No, there's play cleaning again. services that will come and clean it up. But you, but you're not gonna. But you can't. But you can't still live there where you blew away a stranger. In the I house. will. F- I'll put a fucking memorial right there. Are you serious? Yeah, I'll, I'll leave See, the shotgun unloaded right there. Are you? I'll get serious? a brand new shotgun. Like, I'll put paint a, the shotgun like a trophy. <laughs> like no, I paint the gold. <laughs> yeah. Like a karate trophy. <laughs> so that's where I. That's where I have trouble. I'm like, I, I don't, wouldn't want to kill the person in the place where I don't want to move from. Like I love this house. I don't want to move from my house. So if I kill this guy in this house, I can't stay here. I'm not gonna stay here when this guy was dead right there, and then just 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 swiffer it up, and then watch no. watch the good doctor after put that. A, put 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 duct tape around like a crime scene. Yeah, that'd be awesome. All right, you know, every every year have a memorial, put little flowers up like right, on the side of the highway. Good. Okay, nice. I can see that. You know what I mean? All right, I get some it? get some uh, some hors d'oeuvres out. Remember so fucking. <laughs> Fucking Charles, whatever his okay. name was, that All came right. in. Yeah. All right. Have his family over. I'll have to think about that then. Yeah. Would you I need to take your it? attitude. Huh? Would you make it a bit? 100%. Okay. Would you yeah. what? Make it a bit. Oh, you got You got it. There's no way around it, man. You can't not talk As a comic, yeah. you, I mean, first of all, bits come so hard. To, it's so oh. hard to get a bit. And the only way really bits work with guys like us is if they're real. Yeah. If they have some, if they have some truth into it. Yeah. I can't write. I can't, I'm not smart enough to just say, man, wouldn't this be funny? Yeah. If a guy broke in, I couldn't do that. I don't have that right, brain. Right. It has to affect me emotionally. Speaking so, yeah. of bits, yes, you sir. have a, cause we got to get to this battle, but I yeah, also want to make sure we plug the special. That was great. Because that was, that was I'm excited story. for it. Yeah. Tell, tell us about the special a little bit. Where can they find <clears> it? <throat> LouisCK.com. Uh, he directed, produced it. And who is that? Uh, he's, he's the um, best comedian. He's one of the best comedians <laughs> walking the world. He's a redheaded Mexican. It's really weird. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Uh, um, okay, uh, cool. So it's so he produced. Really threw me. Who's that? Was, does he not know? <laughs> I should have kept to is it. Sal that big where he sh- doesn't know what Louis is. I should have kept to that. Son of a bitch. Um, yeah, he came up to me. I, I did a little tour with him. He was like, "Where's your special?" I go, "I don't have one." He goes, "You need a special. You have to have a special." You should have a special. Of course. And I was like, yeah, well, you know, a lot of the times change. You know I what know. I mean? Netflix and all these, you know, Comedy Central's gone and people, you know, whatever. And I was like, yeah, I just, nobody really wants a yeah. middle-aged white dude fucking my perspective, which right. is fine. I get it. Right. And uh, he's like, I'm going to do it. And I was like, fine. And he actually, you know, Louis, if he says he's going to do something, he does it. And, you know, his thing was, you know, because I have a whole thing on weight loss I was doing uh, for a while. And uh, he was like, I don't want to do that. He said, I don't want to do like a theme thing. Now you can save that, do that next or whatever. He goes, do you have an hour of just killing? And I was like, yeah, I have two hours of material that right. I had to keep. And I, you know, I never got rid of because I kind of piecemealed it out here. And there. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, I want to do that. So I was like, all right, great. And we found this place uh, in Tampa. He was like, what do you want to do it? Boston? I go, no, Tampa. Cause Tampa, sa- Florida saved my life during the pandemic. 
Is that right? 100% because it was the only place I could go and do gigs, and these fans just love me down there. Okay. And they're, they're just great. Right. Side splitters, uh, McCurdy's, Vasani's. So, uh, and Mike Calta, my number one best friend, is down there. Yeah. And, you know, he saved my life, too. I mean, I mean, this is where it had to be. Work, sure. And I called his band. I go, I want you to open up the show. We found this place called- When did Co you shoot it? Coastal Creatives. We shot it in, uh, I believe, March. Okay. And- um, we went in, it's a blank space. It's a studio space. And we made it into uh, this kill box. Because I told him, I, I, like, I was thinking Elvis's 68 special. You know when he, that square, yeah. it's just him in the middle of yeah, all of yeah. I go, I want, every, I want people all around me, but not in the round. Right. You know, I, want, I want to create oh, this, yeah? this. That throws me. This, I love it. I want yeah. you right there. I want to see when you didn't like it, when you yeah, liked yeah, it, yeah. you liked it. I want all. Oh, every, like right behind you? Dude, every shot. Yeah. Not be right behind me. Yeah. But like almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. almost. Every shot is crowd and me. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Which I love. That's and, really cool. And uh, and we created this little, you know, like you're at the comedy cell. It's a kill box. Side splitters. It's just, it's this something about it that you have all these people up on you. That's a okay. theater, there's always yeah. 10 feet away yeah there's some there is something i get it oh yeah they're awesome but that no, i wanted nothing to connect like that and we cr we did it and uh filmed it uh it was crazy too the first show uh i'm, I'm all ready to go and uh, some they see you know mike calter's band pitbull toddles up there da -da, they made a riff for me so tampa rock and roll just a bunch of chubby guys in tight jeans <laughs> you know what i mean ladies and gentlemen it's my fucking best friend robert kelly i'm walking out some drunk chick sorry um what the fuck was that birth control birth control i gotta, I gotta take my birth control is that a? What it's is literally, that it literally was put in your fantasy football bids. Oh, you fucking terrible man! <laughs> yeah. I don't even know what fantasy football is. I don't you even go know. build all the pirate ships you want, buddy. I don't even know what happened to Mac Jones last week. I heard he hurt his ankle. I don't I, even follow. I didn't. I don't know. Did he? Yeah, he hurt his. I think he broke it. He broke his ankle. Well, then I'm out of the loop a bit. Yeah, he's out. Um, so, anyways, we did that thing. It was great. Shows were great. A lady almost died on the first show, which was nuts. Twenty minutes on stage, killing. I hear, help her. <laughs> No, no. Swear to God, dude. I ignored it. And then I heard, please help her. I looked. There was a lady like this. No. And, his, and her uh, husband, please. In the middle of taping? Bobby. I'm like, I'm, I'm doing my special, you fuck. What Did am you, I? <laughs> we had a stop, dude. Lights went up. Wow. No I, shit. Chairs went on stage. I, I was off stage, like back at the door when I came. I'm How just, far in? First taping or second? 20 minutes first. I'm like this. 20 minutes into the first taping? Dude. Oh, I'm, fuck. Did you I mean, start over or no? Dude, I'm sitting no, there couldn't. for around 15 minutes. This is going on, trying to get this lady out. She, she doesn't. I mean, the, all the chairs are on my stage. Oh. This perfect oh, fucking shit. stage. Everybody, the lights are on. I'm in the back. People are looking at me. I'm panicking. I got an immediate eye headache. My eye yeah. just went, fuck you. Yeah. And then I look, you 15 can't... minutes, Louis looks over me and goes, we're good. We're good. I'm like, I'm not fucking good. Right, right, right. So I went up. Oh. I had to start. Oh, I mean, and I had to, you know, us, we had to acknowledge yeah. it. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm getting laughs. And then I had to, I don't even know where I was. So I, I look at I I know that I killed for the rest of the set, yeah. You know, but I I was in my head because I didn't understand what how much time. Yeah, it was hot and dude. It just threw I came you. off. I'm in the back room, cleared the back. I'm sitting there like this. Fuck! What the fuck? It's fuck. I, I was fucked. Yeah. I just ruined the first show. Is always the one. Yeah. The second one is always the hey man, do whatever yeah. you want. You got it, and you got yeah. I'm like, fuck me. Oh, my God. If I don't get this, I'm fucked. Right. Uh, and Louie was back there, and he's like, it's okay, man. He cleared everybody out. Louie gave me, my God, he gave me a JFK, Martin Luther King, Malcolm really? X speech. Really? And then it, it wasn't working. Then he goes, he broke out a Tom Brady inspirational clip. <laughs> No shit. No shit. <laughs> Dude, I swear to God. He goes, watch this. And it's, no one wanted me. 
<laughs> they didn't think I had it. I couldn't run fast enough. And it worked. I was like, fucking, I can do this. Let's go do it. I was like, come on. Yeah. And we went out and we nailed the oh, second Oh, that's awesome. Shot. I can't wait to see it. Yeah, it looks beautiful. What's you it know, called? It's called Kill Box. Oh, right on. Nice. Yeah. Oh, that's fun. So uh, it's beautifully shot. And he's such a genius, man. It's like, you don't understand. Like, they, they did, he brought his crew in. Like his award-winning people that do his special, yeah. Leah, his you know his yeah. manager, assistant, executive producer, who helps him do it. All his crew, his set designer. This guy has awards for yeah. Leah. and and Louis. That's awesome. They set all the thing up. I, they go try it out. I get on stage. I am in like this is this is it, guys. You did it. Like this was in my brain, and you you made it happen. Wow. That's, and then Louis comes in. He goes, yeah. This is wrong. This is wrong. And I'm like, what? I love and it. And he goes, I need, move that. Why? Why? Can we get, can, all right, I need, we need 60 more seats over here. Yeah. We need 70 seats. Put more tickets on sale. Bobby, call my, get, we got to sell more tickets. Put it on your Instagram. Sell more tickets. Let's go. And, then, and he's like, okay, yeah. 30 minutes goes by. He made everything so much better. Yeah. And, and you need to be able to see that. Right, right. As the director. He saw that, and he's editing it too, so it's great because he's like, he's like, dude, I, we're ki this is killing. Well, we're making like we just want That's bits great. that kill. That's so, so this some cr if crowd work kills, he leaves it. Yeah, because Comedy Central yeah, won't why let not? you edit it, right? Comedy Central won't let you edit, but also Comedy Central will. You know, we we're leaving in. It's a it's the fun. It's a killer club set. I love That's that. what the special that. is. Yeah. This isn't the swooping yeah. thing. This isn't the you know the yeah. the typical shots with the curtain in the background and me. Pay. This is a fucking a club I'm kill to see it. special. How do how do people get it? To go to Louis, Louis CK. dot com and then October eighth. October eighth. It's available Louis dot com, and uh, I'm I'm very excited. And please buy it because I have to pay Louis back for. Spending his money. Yeah, really. <laughs> That's going to suck. <laughs> Me on the road with him not getting any money. You guys ready for Louie? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking 30 year vet. Just, you guys see my special? <laughs> no, I'm psyched to see if you guys, for some reason, don't know who Bobby is. He's truly a legend. Yeah. One of the funniest comics ever. So check that out. Thanks, we brother. didn't battle at all. Is it? Where are we? We're, we're in an hour. We didn't bat. We're done. Uh, no, let's just let's do a. You know, let's look. We didn't battle. I hadn't seen I've you. Been, let me say something. I hadn't seen you. Let's fucking battle. I've been doing. I've been watching the show and fucking going. I should be on this. Oh, so you that's know, why the show is. The do you best. remember you were there? You were there at one of the first times we ever had a big brawl about food. Yes. It was also on the cruise. Yes. We were backstage. Yeah. And we're fighting over Oreo versus Chips Ahoy. 100%. And I forgot. You were there. And it was Verzi was there. Yep. And we were all going yeah. at it. Yeah. Joe DeRosa got drunk. Yeah. Mushed everybody at the crap table. Yeah. Dude, I him. never win. Oh, <laughs> uh, get out of here. We were just, yeah. I won 800 bucks. Yeah. He comes over, dude. This is, He's no like, one yeah. ever gives me anything. Uh, <laughs> uh, what the fuck, man? Why do I never win? What the, get out of here. We all just start losing. We were, we were fiercely arguing. I have yeah. actually, I actually, um, my lady recorded it. Yeah. And I have the video of us screaming at you. And then we end up doing I've it had so. many of those with DeRosa. So, I love DeRosa. It's so easy to yell Let me tell you something. <laughs> many... With. Many of the when I because I relate to this podcast because I've been where you're at right with DeRosa right uh, I mean real I think we had a chicken McNugget fight once yeah and oh we, that sounds a, about right we had a hash brown fight McDonald's came up without Joe even being here <laughs> <laughs> Joe's brought up McDonald's in 104 episodes straight yeah. I we had a, I, yes, I, 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 he lives alone what do you yeah. like? <laughs> <laughs> I think he's gonna cook every night that's yeah. sad. I gotta make a ham. I gotta leave. <laughs> his friends are the cast of characters from the McDonald's. Like that's who his. He has like Grimace. imaginary. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I uh, we we had one of our big fights was over hash browns. Yeah, uh, the, the Denny's hash, the hash brown. Yeah, or the McDonald's hash brown. Yeah, or the Denny's you know shredded hash brown. Yeah, you know it's like or the cube potato hash browns. Yeah, which one? Where are you? I uh, dude, I'm. Uh, I like the cube potato hash browns. The cubes. Yeah, yeah. that's fun. I, they're all good. I like a hash brown. You like the shredded. I, well, if it's you burnt. Like the patty? I love that top layer when it you gets like the burnt crunchy and crispy. Patty. Yeah. And then like the soft is underneath, but I just eat the crisp on the top. Yeah, but you got to say that with the potatoes. You got to say, listen, 
you, uh, I want you to burn these. Burn I say it. it. Burn I it. say it. No, no, I say it. I, I lock eyes because they won't burn. They yeah. won't burn it. I go, excuse me. If it's pizza, if it's toast, if it's, right. I go, excuse me. Yep. I go, can you please burn my toast? Yeah. Um, I know that you're going to tell them to burn it and they yeah. might take you at your word or not. I know that they're going to think it's burnt when it's not really burnt. They don't want to burn it and send it out because they feel bad about it. I will not send it back. Yeah. Please burn the goddamn toast. And they still don't. It's not burnt. Yeah, I do the same thing with hash browns. I go yeah. burn it and then burn it again. And then when you think it's really burnt, when right. you're like, this guy's a fucking lunatic. I say that. This guy's nuts, burn it more. I say that on yeah. the order of pizza. Yeah. I go, when you think that it's too much, like double that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you like your pizza crust? I like it burnt. Apparently, though, there's carcinogens in that. Who gives a shit? Mm, I don't, I want, a, I I don't want a doughy pizza. Yeah, I know. I don't want the, I don't want, if you but move I like a little. feeling, like tasting that like char. Yeah, the char yeah. and the crunch. And you barbecue and stuff, right? Of course I do. You put a, a nice barbecue. Char. So is that not good for us, the char? No, who said that? You camp too. We have a lot to talk about. You should come back. I will come back. We're, not, do- we're not finished right now. We're going to fight about right, the let's, let's fight. Let's fight. All right. Yes. I, I text you some stuff. You threw me a bunch of stuff. One of them was Turkey Club. Turkey Club. We've never done a Turkey Club. That's a classic sandwich. We've never done it on the podcast. I tried to think of something that could go up against that. I love a sloppy Joe. I don't have them often. I have fond memories of them. I think they're. Do you not know what a sloppy Joe is? I 100 percent know what it is. Okay. but it's a it's a gimmick. No, it's. It's a gimmick. I, I don't think it's... Okay. okay so it's let's, a let's, gimmick. Let's, let's, let's go at it then. Okay, let's go. I think Turkey Club is, is, is very vanilla. I think it's an old faithful, but I think it's boring. I think that... I, I think that... Um, I think that... I've never had a Turkey Club that was like, this is lights out good. It's, not- it's always like... Just a little dry. It kind of falls apart. It's the bread and the bread again, and it's okay. But it's I think it's a lot of smoke and mirrors. It's a classic. There's not a lot of turkey on there. It is, first of all, is a classic nighttime sandwich. Okay, number I, one. I do love a frilly toothpick. It's got toast. Yeah, you got the frilly I do toothpick. Love toast. It's it's in four quarters. That's fun. and it's stacked, so you can eat. You can, you what you're supposed to, you can you can make every any variation of that sandwich as you want. You could do some bacon. You first of all, you need mayonnaise. You need extra mayonnaise, and you can make a little BLT. Mm. You can have a little turkey. You can mix. Oh, you're it up. making side sandwiches. You can, you, yeah, it's <laughs> so you're pulling out turkey, you, dipping you, in the mayo, and just eating the lettuce, the BL, and the T. You can do whatever you want. It's not just one sandwich. It's like a, it's it's multi sandwich. It's modular. Yeah. Yeah. That's why it's it great. Is. And it always comes with fucking fries. Fries. So you, you you're making your little sandwiches. You get a little you're fry. Having, it's a fun dish, is what you're it's saying. It's a nighttime classic. They can't mess it up. You're not going to get food. How? A lot of times Turkey Club is a go-to on a room service menu. Yeah. And a lot of times I'll order it and a Turkey Club has let me down so many times. How? Because How? they can. Sometimes there's not enough turkey. Sometimes there's too much turkey where they do that thing where it's like this big and you're like taking half the turkey out and you're biting it. Sometimes that frilly toothpick will hit you right in the gums too. I'm there's no gonna- such thing as a ha- too much turkey. That is nuts. But it's like it's you can't take then, the turkey out. That's it's a modular sandwich. No, I know, but now you're removing turkey in order to eat. Remove to turkey. Eat. Leave it over here. You get to eat that turkey later. I get that. I you're get in your that. room. You come back from a show. Uh, nothing. I got my turkey. You had the leftover turkey. You got turkey. the leftover turkey. <laughs> leftover turkey. You got the turkey, yeah, 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 and you're sitting yeah, there I, watching I've the good doctor. <laughs> the, good, the good doctor is a running theme. With the turkey, <laughs> right? I, I actually have done that. I order my room service, because I don't like to eat right before a show. Yeah. So I'll order the room service. If I don't finish it, I don't put it outside. I keep it no, there. No, you then keep it right there. But it ends up being like five or six hours later, <laughs> and then you come in, you open the thing back up, and you're like, You can't I'll do finish, that with a burger. I'll finish the rest of this. You can't do that with a fucking sloppy Joe. Sloppy Joe... Hot only. Hot I disagree. Only. Have you? Well, have you ever gone to the other side? Ugh. Have you ever had a, a sloppy Joe that that was warm or even cold? Buddy, you cannot eat. Look at oh, ugh. A sloppy Joe nut. First of all, <laughs> first of all, that's the worst. That's, that's a, the worst name I've ever Joe, heard. Of. Joe DeRosa's heard sloppy that. Sloppy Joe nut. <laughs> yeah, sloppy. And Joe I would nuts. never put spiced beef. Uh, sugar uh, and sweet. I get it. I get. I it. get. The, I get sugar and sweet, but beef on a donut. Th- this is why Sloppy Joe stinks. It just sucks. No, Sloppy Joe is actually it's, delicious. 
I, I, I've only had Sal. Sloppy Joe. We, we didn't make Sloppy Joes on the regular when I was little. So they, they were like- That's wa- America. Look at that sandwich. They, that's a turkey but club. It's, but it's so It almost has the red, white, and blue. It's like, <laughs> look at all that. Everybody's represented. It's so plain. Yours I, is I'll tell you garbage. Your this, hands, you, you can't no, eat it. No, don't say that because that's one of the benefits of the Sloppy Joe. No, that's it's one not. Of, you, you just talked about the fun things about- I'm going to tell you why. You talked about fun things about the turkey club. What about the fun things of the Sloppy Joe? Just by name only, just the essence of it. It's going to be a sloppy sandwich. It's, it's going to be delicious. That's You're fine. You're going to be sopping it up on that soft, uh, soft potato as soon as you bread. T- okay, Sloppy Joe comes. Show, can you please show me a picture of a Sloppy it's Joe? It's steaming. It's okay. beautiful. Sometimes Look they'll put that. extra sloppy. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, that's Look at so that. good. I Looks actually great. want a Sloppy Joe. It's been so long since I've had yeah, one. Yeah, want one. <laughs> when you take a bite of it, it all mushes out, and it's just fucking wet bread, and everything else is on the plate. No, no, no. 100%. No. And then you can, you, take the bread, you can take the bread and dip it right in I'm that not sloppy fucking, Joe. It's not a sandwich at that point. It's sauce. No, 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 buddy. It's You're crazy. It's fucking sauce. First of all, you can get as much sloppy as you need in the mountain. Some the, comes out as, as part of the fun. As soon as you bite it, it smushes it's, out the sides. It's by design. You, no, <laughs> dude, make a sloppy <laughs> Joe bun with a hole no, that the sloppy Joe no can good. stay in. No good. I used to, we used to do that at the restaurant I worked at. We called it a neat Joe. I swear to God. <laughs> Dude, we it's it a, a better neat, Joe. We not it a, a neat Joe. It it's a, a wrap, better Joe. And it was all contained. And I we called uh, it a neat Joe. You can't even order one on a date. You look like a fucking savage. I, I don't. I don't know of a more fun food to order on a on a, from a restaurant. Or if if I was at like some a friend's house or my grandma's house or a friend, and they're like, "Oh, it's football Sunday. What are you gonna have? Wings? No." And someone no. goes, "No, no, we're gonna make a tray of sloppy Joes. Yeah, we're gonna I'm make like, a tray oh. of sloppy Joes, and you're gonna ruin your pants, and it's gonna get on your new sneakers and my couch and the." Dog's well, gonna eat it and die because there's onions in it. Who are you? How do you oh. eat? How do you eat a meal? You can, you're gonna get it all over the place. You're it's not, a sloppy oh, fucking Joe. Yeah, you yeah, said it. Yeah, That's yeah, the fun yeah, part. Yeah, that you fucking slop it everywhere. We're a bunch of fucking. You look like a fucking, you're an adult. You're not sitting in a high chair having what it. What are you talking you can about? Take a bite and let it fall into the plate. <laughs> Who wants the food that's supposed to be in your mouth on the plate? Oh, what are you? That's fucking no. You just said you removed the turkey from your turkey club to have one. It's modular. It's fucking modular. There's a difference between modular. So you are, so you're I chose choosing, that. I you're chose choosing. that. Well, I'm I not like, choosing that. I like that I have no choice in the matter. It's how the sandwich... The sandwich dictates how it goes. The, fuck the yeah, sandwich. Yeah, I'm the boss. Yeah, I'm the boss. Yeah, sloppy Joe. When I you don't want a rogue Joe, sandwich. Sloppy Joe is the boss. And I'll tell you Dude, another thing. Uh, not a lot of people... I like... I like a turkey club is... Literally, there's no curveball. If, if the greatest chef okay. came in here and made you a turkey club, it would taste like the turkey club from the diner. Okay, okay. Sloppy Joe, people have their own secret recipes for it. Some are uh, heavy on the spices, some are heavy on the onions. It is some are sweet, some are, are more tangy. It's garbage people food. No. <laughs> and here's the thing: uh, you know what? It's That's a fine. gimmick. I'm not excluding, it's a gimmick. I'm not excluding garbage You're people. You're a gimmick. Yeah, I'm not it's above a garbage people. It's a gimmick. Why is it a gimmick? Why? It's a gimmick. Dude, I'll tell you why. It's, it's a it's chopped a gimmick. beef and sauce. It was, no, spice. it was made in the fucking 70s. It's pull like up, TV up, dinners. Joe, please. TV dinners. <laughs> gimmick. It's a gimmick. I love a TV dinner, though. Oh, you're garbage. Not now, but when I grew up, I would love a fried chicken with the corn and a brownie on the side with the mashed potato. How do they potato. make fried chicken last for seven years? I don't know. Listen, it's not good. I don't eat any more. That's but why I, everybody's dying of cancer. When I was a little hungry man, though, you didn't, you didn't love that? Of course I did. I oh, love okay, 100. Okay. I'm not out of my mind. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love 100. With the little potatoes Dude, the brown, and the gravy. The potatoes, oh, I love instant potatoes. And the little dessert. I like instant sucked, potatoes better ate. than real potatoes. The little brownie. The dessert yeah. was good. I didn't like the raspberry when they tried to hit you with the raspberry compote instead of the brownie. But you still tasted it. I ate it. Yeah, of course you I did. Yeah. yeah. And the little cardboard lid that you flipped over and yeah. had all the uh, condensation it on it. And then you scrape the uh, potato off of the thing because oh, it burnt on the yeah. top. Oh, that was good. I know. Yeah, that was good. You just shat on it. You called it garbage I did, food. but I was... Because you, you get me whipped up about food. the stupid sloppy joe, which is disgusting. Uh, I, and, and see, on those soft potato rolls... Oh, the my The Hawaiian rolls. God, yeah. But, the, but you get those nothing Martins. in a bite. You do, though. You do not, The point sell. about the sloppy joe, the reason it's sloppy... Oh. I'll tell you what. The reason it's sloppy is not because... Of the chopped meat, because I could put a manageable amount of chopped meat on a bun, and I could make it so that it's not going to go all over your pants, like you just said. But the point of the is, you put way too much on there. Yeah, because you want it overflowing. Yeah, that, I because know. Because you want to bite it here, yeah. you want to bite a little with a fork, you want to sound something. Yeah. It's a sloppy eating it's experience, a, but it's contained. It's not contained because most of the sloppy Joe doesn't get in the sandwich. Okay, it gets on the plate, and you got to get a fork or a spoon oh, what and about the, the bread. Taste, Bob, I I never said. The, t- the taste is amazing. Okay. And that's another reason you're, why. You're, you're hang gonna, on. You're let me finish. Shun that's, Sloppy Joe that's because another, of the experience of That's eating. another reason why it's fucking shit. 
sorry, because I want to eat it. I want to eat what you advertise. I want to eat the chicken sandwich that they put on the billboard. When I see a sloppy Joe and it's this big, I want to bite into that right. and have that experience. But you bite into it and it's air. I don't get that experience. You don't I get, get air. A, you don't get anything. It you smushes get, out. You get it. Dude. You bite it and it mushes out. I know, but 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 the excess does. I don't it's want like no. When, it's like when you're spackling. You know, you just run the edges, let it fall in, and then the Most rest of is it in there. comes out. And it's this. What it should do? They should put the sloppy Joe on the side where it's gonna go anyways after the first bite, and then show you the sandwich when it's a little thin sandwich. Okay, because that's what it becomes. A little thin sandwich with sauce. Come on, Bob. So a sloppy joe, I love the taste and of that it. Bread and that's is, why that it's bread bad. is made for pulling apart and running through the no, it's scarpetta. Not. They call it scarpetta. You know what that is when you're sopping up the Don't the, don't pull your Italian. Okay. I'm only half. I, I know you're half Italian? Yeah. I'm half Italian too. Uh, you're, like, scarpetta, you know what that is? Scarpetta. No, I'm down it, on there's, a, there's, a, there's a there's a restaurant in Manhattan. Well, there's it's all over an Italian restaurant called Scarpetta. Yeah, right. And they, they won't let you know that when you go in there. You know what scarpetta is? It's when you take the it's the term for when you take the, you clean your plate with the bread. Right. At the end. Yeah. And not at the beginning. Right. But that's right. Not at the, at the but end. My, but my point is that's even a coined term from Italian cuisine because the process of doing that, the food is so good. You love sopping it up with the Are bread. You a sloppy Joe, sloppy is, that Joe is Italian? No. What I'm saying you, is, is, right, that, is that it's it's good down to the I clean my plate with a sloppy, sloppy Joe. Sloppy Joe was made by Cisco for kids as a gimmick. <laughs> Cisco. Okay. They made a gimmick sandwich and now yeah. Let's see what it says here. What does it say? Why do they call it Sloppy Joe? It had nothing to do with the sandwich. Nope. The name was adopted by Jose Garcia Rios's Havana Club, which sold liquor and iced seafood. Because the floor was always wet with melted ice, the patrons taunted his Spanish Joe with running a sloppy place. So that even defeats your what? your theory. That can't be right. Your theory is done. It so, in Cuba, yeah. so now it's just a shit sandwich. Cuba, well, Cuba, but Cuba's now it's Cuba. just a messy no, shit sandwich. <laughs> no, no, you're I, saying the whole thing was sloppy. That you said Bob, the whole that thing goes was, against you. What you said? You what? You you just you just dictated the whole sandwich as a sloppy mess for garbage people. Right. Meanwhile, it's not even called that because it's sloppy. It's called that because it's the moniker of the guy who owned the restaurant. Hundred percent. It's so, still so it it's takes still a sloppy over. mess. Yeah, it's a sloppy let's mess. Let's just say it both work. A club, what, Bob, Bob, a turkey club is so boring. I'm going to ask you a question right now. Let me ask you a question. I want to 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 ask you a question. All right, just show it. It's your fucking place. No, you you're the, the guest. Question. Go ahead. No, because now I don't want to do it. Because no, you're, 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 you're making me. You're alpha mailing me, and I don't want to. You go. Alpha mail. You go. Alpha mail. You go. Are you kidding me? You 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 go build your pirate ship. You go first. You kidding? Alpha mail. I skip. <laughs> I, I like to skip. <laughs> he went, Alpha man. Alpha man. You were Alpha man. You were offended. What? Uh, <laughs> fuck you, Alpha male. No. Um, Dude, wait a minute. Are you going to let me go? I was going to go. Are you going to go? You go. <laughs> you go. You go. Because I forgot my question. No, I got my question. Go ahead. All right. Truth. Yes. What percentage of the times you order a turkey club does it come dry as fuck? Because there's nothing worse than that carved turkey that feels like these little cardboard s s little you want the squares truth? on top of each other. And it's it, it, a turkey club can be a travesty if it's dry. Do you want the truth? Yes. 96.5% of the time. It's dry. But that's why Thank the mayonnaise. Thank you so much. Okay. That's why okay. you put the mayonnaise. Okay. That's why you have the tomato. So you immediately need to correct the sandwich that you ordered. You know, you need to, not at all. You When well, you have a you car. You have to solve for dry. You have a car outside. If there's no gas in it, is it, it looks pretty, but you need to add something else to it to make it ride. <laughs> that that's, sounds like a crock of horseshit. It's not me. a crocker. It's fact. So, okay. so you have it. to add mayo, otherwise you, you to make it ride. <laughs> Look, you have to add mayo. To, yeah, to make, <laughs> to it, make ride. it ride. You have to add mayo, otherwise your sandwich is inedible. You no, know, it's not inedible. Inedible? I don't know. Nobody right. cares. Not edible. <laughs> Right? Can't Dude, eat God it. Forbid, what if you don't have a mayo packet next to you? Who what are you it? doing? What are you going to shove a sandwich Where do you get a turkey club without a mayo packet? And if you're in a jam, mustard. Mustard on a turkey club? In Never a heard of it. In a jam. Never heard of in it. In a jam. In a jam. <laughs> I said in a jam. He just agreed that the... Tur and I really respect that. He, he agreed that the turkey club, when he orders it, is dry probably 96.5% of, of the time. 100%. You Be know fair. what's never dry? It's impossible. Yeah. Sloppy Joe. Yeah, you know what's it's never impossible. in your mouth? Sloppy Joe. It's not on. It's not in the sandwich. Let me it's not a sandwich. All right, all right, ready? It's not a sandwich. All right, and let me just say something. Here's my question. Here's please, my question. Please ask it. Okay, you 
On a date, yeah. New York City, no, diner. No, no, no. no I'm not ordering you. a turkey club either. Oh, diner. You got, they're like, hey, we Is got- it a first gonna, date? We, it's a uh, second date. Second date. Second date. What do you, they, hey guys, sorry. We got uh, Turkey Club and Sloppy Joe's. What diner is this? <laughs> it's a Sloppy Joe Turkey Club diner. <laughs> Who are you? It's, it's called, I'm, I'm, the, guy, I'm you? the owner. I'm the owner. What nationality was that? What nationality? Yeah. I'm a cross between Italian, Lebanese, a, and a, Jewish. A cross between? Yeah. My wife was Jewish and Lebanese, and I'm Italian. <laughs> All right, and my fine. mom was, my mom fucked a guy in Lebanon. And then that's it. And, that's and, then, it. and then that's the, then, we, then you get a diner. That's how it works. Fu- yeah, something like that, yeah. And Greek. I have Greek <laughs> yes. in me too. So, so you're telling me on a second date, do I Second order? date. Sorry, we only have a turkey club. It's a little dry. <laughs> it's a little dry, but I have mayonnaise. Yeah. And a sloppy joe. What would you like to get? On a second date, I... No, why wouldn't I order the sloppy joe? Because you'd look like an ass. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> I, wa- I got to be myself. If you are... I'm, well, not, I'm not there representing the girl, somebody else. If, on a second date, what I want to bring myself to the table. You're out of your mind. You're right. Hey. hey, speaking of out of their minds, <laughs> Ian Finance is here. <laughs> sloppy joe or turkey club? What's Pick one, buddy. Uh, Sla- turkey club. Boom! Over Sloppy Joe? Don't right. snow. Dup, 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 that's what am it. I in second grade? Oh, what yes, the fuck? Thank you. It's what a gimmick. No, look at it's that. It's a gimmick. Cut out of it's here. It's a kid gimmick. Yeah, you look like you're from second he, grade. He, I hear you. your backpack on the hat of a Sloppy Joe. <laughs> he probably, you probably like edibles too. Lunch, <laughs> lunchables. Oh, oh, no, no. I argued against lunch. Wait, did I argue? No, uh, I argued for. Of course you did. You like Sloppy Joe. It was lunchables versus. um. We did it with the Are You Garbage guys. I, a Lunchable, I like a... Of course you, I do. you like, love Sloppy I like Joe's. a fun time. You love little juicies. I, I like know. a fun time. You love a gimmick meal. No. I love a, an adult meal, a turkey club. I, I'll tell you right now, if if, if if we were about to have a meal, uh, we were about to eat after this before right. you left. Right. And be honest. And I put down a piping hot Sloppy Joe plate and a turkey club plate. Wouldn't you be like, well, I had turkey club a hundred times. I have Sloppy Joe like one to a hundred versus... The, wouldn't you choose a Sloppy Joe? No, because I like these pants. You can't <laughs> trust yourself not to get slop on the it's pants? It's a fucking mess. It's an abortion on a bun. That's harsh. It's terrible. That's harsh. It's terrible. And it, and, and you're talking... I love that you add people make their own... Spe- it's a packet, a pre-made packet from a company with... If, with poison in it, if you want and you do- put it in there, and you put it with hamburger. It's, it's the most it's, easy meal ever. It's, it's a spices. packet. It's, it's like seasoning. a it's like a ramen college meal. Yeah, what does it matter if you call it a packet? In the packet is Dude, spices. A, a fucking bird had to die to make a turkey club, <laughs> and then you had to have a farmer plant tomatoes and lettuce, and then you had to have some old lady get oil tomatoes, and eggs. This tomatoes, this tomatoes in the in the sloppy. You don't joke. know that. There's onions. A cow had you to don't die. Know that. I mean, we all make sacrifices for the sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> I am. What do you want me to tell you? I'm so hungry right now. <laughs> I want a sloppy Joe so bad. I would do a I sloppy had Joe. A sloppy Joe. I think in like ten years. I would do a sloppy Joe, but I would dig the bread out so someone would stay in. <laughs> what about that? What? What about that? Open in a nice soft potato roll bun, scooping Scoop out like, the bread it, to yeah. make a bowl like yes. thing, if you will. I'll do Putting that. The sloppy in there. Do well, that. But, but why can't you do it that way? You could choose how you want to eat it. You just told me that the turkey club was modular, and you'll take some turkey out, eat it, and then save the other turkey for later because it's a modular sandwich. But you can't adjust the way that you eat a sloppy joe. If you love a bowl out of your bread, make the bowl out of your bread, and boom, now you're eating sloppy joes. Now Sal? we're comparing taste to taste, and Sal? taste to taste, sloppy joe Sal? takes a cake. Go fuck yourself. Yeah, all right. I poked a hole in that. Good doctor. Go fuck I yourself. I poked a hole in that. Slide. We gotta go to the phones. We gotta go. All right, let's go to the phones. See, we got the battle in. That was good. Uh, we're going to the phone. So we'll read, we'll read some uh, some comments here, and then we'll go to the voting. So they don't know that DeRosa, they don't know that Bobby is subbing for DeRosa, so they, they always try to guess who did what. That's funny. So this is Joe DeRosa versus the Turkey Club, so that's way off, actually. But Sloppy Joe is DeRosa every morning after going on a bender. That sauce is like the vomit that triples out of his mouth from the night before. <laughs> Very wordy, but to accurate. Be, oh. Sloppy Joe's are yeah, really. Sloppy Joe's are a great sandwich if you have a burning Marlboro in the ashtray next to you. <laughs> and you just Y'all yelled, fun. you yell Turkey Club. Ian yells Turkey Club and then takes out a, a mar- pack of red Marlboro Reds. Who smells Marlboro Joe's? Red? What are you? you what, what, what are you? What are you? What are you? What are you aiming for here in life? Yeah. What? What are you aiming for in life? That's to that's, have the that's best a time as road. possible. What are that's you saying? Oh, that's a dead end road, right he's there. A, no, he's trying to make it any way he can. Like anything somebody's looking for, he can fit into. What are you talking about? Like, I like cowboy killers. I like feeling a, 
A heavy smoke. Yeah, but that's going to get you nowhere very fast. What, smoking cigarettes? Smoking. Yeah, so is piling on sloppy joes. <laughs> what do you think of that, yeah. huh? Yeah, I don't Turkey walk. club's the way to go. <laughs> Thank you I, very this much. This isn't about me. <laughs> this isn't about me. I don't walk around okay. with a sloppy joe in my shirt pocket, though. <laughs> well, you do yes. if you don't take your time eating it. <laughs> Marlboro Reds, I just want you to... You sound like Bruce Valanche now. <laughs> <laughs> Bruce Valanche? <laughs> How many fucking kids are like, do we got to Google that what? right now? Google Bruce Lynch. What was the the reference you thought nobody was going to get earlier? I forget. I forget. I don't, I don't have a memory. Yeah, look, I mean, there he is. There's Bruce. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. I'd rather sound like is him than look like around? him. Is he still around? Yeah, I think he's alive. There's no way he's alive. Yeah, he's alive. He looks different. Oh. If he's he's dead. Oh, my God. No, he's not dead. No, it says it right there. <laughs> no, it Bruce doesn't. Bruce Lynch, alive? No, he's alive, baby. Are you sure? He's alive. Oh, he is. Okay. Yeah, yeah 73. God bless him. Oh, my God. Wow. All right. God bless him. Anyway, let's go to the phone. So let's keep going. Turkey Club, without a doubt. Sloppy Joe for kids and poor people. Jesus <laughs> Christ. 100%, dude. Jesus they, Christ, Your fans though. are... You know what? I'm, so, I'm glad your fans are intelligent, smart people. Uh, exactly. Let's see. Let's see so you someone. should have a trailer home to have a sloppy Joe. What, what, what does that matter for the people that live in a trailer home? I, I, I would live in a trailer home. Let's not tell... The history of the club was uh, from country clubs. That's, That's what it was, name. right? Yeah, I was going to ask you why it was called that. It is that. an elitist. Yeah, the history of the sloppy this is what Joe's, is, baby, okay? This is, a class, this is class warfare right now. A fancy okay? sandwich. This is the people. one percenters versus everybody else. Good people. Yours get or served you. in country clubs. Yes. And mine get served yeah. in... At VFWs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, you're, and you're screaming that At, from a high-rise apartment in Staten Island. Where the people? And you're screaming that. But where did I come from? You're not. You where'd you come where'd from? Where'd I come from? You came from Jersey. I came from the slums Staten of Staten Island, Jersey. I came from the slums. <laughs> yeah, of Staten of Jersey. No. <laughs> As Sal would say, this is a drubbing. Oh, I don't even want to look at the percentages right now. You came in here and you just probably slaughtered me. Turkey Club Sloppy Joe sounds like a bad oral sex name. <laughs> Ew. Who voluntarily eats something named after two gross words? Sloppy and Joe DeRosa. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> A turkey club sounds like a happening place. You can get a drink, maybe dance a little. A sloppy Joe reminds you that uncle. You know the one. <laughs> I don't know these about that. Be, these are great. The name says it all. The turkey club sounds like a cool place to go. Sloppy Joe is someone who elicits a gag response. I. This might be the first ever one hundred percent to zero. Yeah, nobody likes a sloppy Joe. Where are where are the sloppy Joe people? Yeah, they're dead for eating sloppy Joes. It's it's, Man. it's I really, What about the nostalgia? There's no when nostalgia. When was the last time you had a sloppy Joe? When was the last time? Couldn't tell you. Couldn't tell you. Great. Doesn't school. that excite you? When was the last time you no. had one? I, I got to think ten years. I had yeah. one at Schnitzer's. Yeah, you know why you haven't had one in ten years? Because you grew up. No, it's just I what is in a sloppy? It, G? It's just like it's ground beef and like onions, onions, your wife, tomato seasoning. Would you, would you tell your wife? It's the basis of every other food. You like taco meat? <laughs> Making a if face. You, if you uh, if you were married, right? Yeah. And would you be like, hey, let's do Sloppy Joe's tonight? Hell yeah. And you know what she'd say? Like, Hell fucking no. Come on. I'm not making a mess in my would kitchen. Would it make a Sloppy Joe if you no, wanted to? No, she's a good cook. Why would she make a Sloppy Joe? Why wouldn't she make a good version of a Sloppy Joe? She does. It's called Chicken Cacciatore or, uh, or uh, uh, what's the other? Mac, uh, American Chop Suey. American Chop Suey? You never had American Chop Suey? No. Are you out of your mind? No. Are you Italian? I'm not even positive I know what chop suey is. American chop suey is- It's a is, song by System of a Down. I thought so. <laughs> American chop suey is ground beef, sauce, mushrooms, onions, peppers, right? Sounds and like a sloppy put, joe to me. And you put, it, 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 put it on pasta. Sloppy joe on pasta would be great. Oh. Look at that. Look at that. Look at so, that. Look at that. That doesn't oh, look okay. good. okay. That's chop suey? That's chop suey, I had baby. no American idea American chop suey. suey, baby. I had no idea. Now, that's a dish. So you'll take the meat that you're, that you're arguing. The only, so your only argument is that it falls off the bun. You would want it on pasta, though. It's not. If you put it on pasta, I get a spoon, and I eat it, and I get to taste it. I put it on a bun. I take a bite. It, like, falls mm. off. I think that. I think that. You've only made one argument against the Sloppy Joe, and I don't think it was a strong it, one. It's terrible. That I did. Said, I mean, I'm going to get ossified here. Yeah. So let's go to the phones here. This is the segment we call Humble Pie, where somebody has to eat their words. Okay. And uh, it was a cute little pun, you know. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> Pimpy, throw up the uh, the record and the breakdown of the uh, voting here. This is going to be bad. I'm not even going to look. I'm Drum roll. <laughs> Ooh, not as bad as I thought, but bad. You doubled me. Oh, wow. Turkey Club takes this win 67.1% to 32.9% after 11,000 votes. Thank you very much, everybody. I mean, you came in. Yeah. And you did your thing. I did my thing. And uh, I'm right on this one, Sal. 
and you need to just accept that. Turkey Club is a is a classic. You're a man now. I didn't think I was going to lose that bad. I thought people would have a a what? longing for the Joe. Longing for the Joe. Um, go see me on tour, SalWellCountOfComedy.com. <laughs> All my fall dates are up right now. Merch is on sale on our websites as well. Solo, pod, everything. Bobby, uh, get his special October. October 8th. 8th. LouisCK.com. Yes, absolutely. Or RobertKellyLive.com would be everywhere. All right, so this is how we end. When the person who wins says to the other person, I still love you, and then I say I love you too. So that's what you guys say. I still love you, I Sal. love you too, Bob. All right, buddy. See you next time. That was great, guys. They come into the mic, talking about the food they hate, talking about the food they like. Two fools gonna fight, but only one food can be right.